humans of the internet. Welcome to the Gallant Horde. Today, these six lovely people are going to be going to attempt to break the fourth seal, which is known as the Rose of Brass. It resides in the plane of air. And I'm sure it's going to be a very interesting day. I'm excited. You all look terrified. It's great. I love it so much. Okay, um, before we launch into all of that, today's in-game giveaway is once again from the Deck of Useful Things by Level 1 Gamers. Um, it's amazing. You should definitely check it out. I'm sure that by now, that, yep, it's in the chat. And today's is a friendly fireball. It's as spectacular as the name. That's all I'm going to say about that for now. It's great. Um, as always, we are aiming for 50 new or renewed subscribers in October. Yes, it's October still. Um, the little sword under my face will show you how close we are to that. If we get that, we will be scheduling another Birds of a Feather game. We're currently in the process of scheduling the ones that we have on the books that we haven't yet done for the January, December kind of period once the Horde wraps up for the season. Um, so we already have Sorcerers, Paladins, and wizards do i have that right yep coming up in january um we have not done fighters or rangers so those are the two that are kind of still up for grabs in our toasted ogre for those of you who don't know the toasted ogre is a channel in our discord which is subscribers only so we occasionally do polls there um drop secret things etc uh also if you're not a horde member and you're interested in the greater story of the horde being a twitch subscriber gets you access to all those channels in our discord so you can keep up with all the day-to-day -day shenanigans and many and multitudinous are they um <laughs> i feel like that sentence got lost but anyway we are also still in the process of raising um, donations for a new rig for Adam. Uh, our current donation goal is we are 315 New Zealand dollars away from that. Um, and when we get that, we will be scheduling a familiars game. So that will involve the familiars and steeds and other animal friends of the realm in an adventure all of their very own. Um, so that's pretty exciting. That's pretty much all my announcements for this week, I think. Um, so... I guess the one thing I can talk about is that we are in the process of putting together a Wolfenute calendar, for those of you who are Wolfenute people, um, where we are looking for submissions for pictures of your beautiful animal friends. So if you haven't already submitted that, I know Nick has, um, <laughs> you should pop on over to Wolfenute and have a look, um, follow the link and submit a picture of your animal friend. Maybe it'll be in our Wolfenute calendar for next year. Um, because animals are cool. That's all my announcements. So I'm going to get you lovely people to introduce yourselves and your characters. Um, and maybe at least in one case, fill us in on some fairly important changes that have happened. Um, <laughs> and I will roll a potion of resistance, starting with Chelsea. Hello, I am Chelsea. I'm playing Rumi Redding, the human uh, cleric. Battlemaster, uh, aka the Pocket Cleric. Uh, I am Jennifer. I'm playing Zinkela the Druid, who is no longer a furbolg. She's um, a Haragon, is that how you say it? Haragon, yeah. Yeah, I'm a rabbit person now. So I could be here, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nick? Hi, I'm Nick. I am playing Zinri. She is a Haragon monk, but today she looks like a tabaxi with long ears. Um, for have, but she's a heron god, core. <laughs> um, hi, your resident like disaster <laughs> warlocks here again. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm playing Alex. He's in his seeming form today. He's looking like a very, very good looking red tiefling in a sink slinky blue dress. Who's going by the name of Jezebel today? Because if you're going to be weird and different, if we're seeming, just go all out with it. That's very Alex. Jess. Um, hi, I'm Jess. I'll be playing Edith, the uh, the human rogue. Um, well, normally she's just an elderly-looking human woman. Today she decided to really um, 
really hone in on the wrinkles and the 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 moles and and stuff um and also has given herself tiefling horns and she's going to be going by the name of of granny today she's gone full crone love it and chrissy i'm chrissy and i will be playing mara the elderly human barbarian with a touch of warlock um yeah, just going to look a little bit elvish today, and I will be um, going by the name of Nana. <laughs> so we have both Horde Grandmothers on this mission. What could possibly go wrong? Death. Death could go <laughs> wrong. <laughs> All right. Is there... Oh, your potion of resistance today is resistance to force, which is the one everyone always wants. Um, could be useful. We shall see. Uh, is there anything any of you would like to do before you enter the throne room today, apart from the usual buffs and many, many spells that your friends have cast on you? Mara's dropped off something with Aiden in chat, and yes. <laughs> yes, for the been, there's, feels. There's been a lot of um, leaving of letters and places and whatnot for this game, I've noticed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, nothing else? All right, then. You enter the throne room. The lady is wearing a very simple blue gown. Um, and she says, ah, welcome, adventurers. Today's adventure is a, well, rather dangerous one. I very much hope you are all prepared for that. Um, you are going to the plane of air to attempt to break the fourth of the seven seals that my dear husband has placed. Did you have any questions for me before you go? Do you, by chance, have a description, or can you show us a picture of what the tower looks like that we are seeking? I can drop you right by it. The tower is not the problem. The problem is that finding the actual seal is going to be tricky. My agents have not been able to get into it. Well. They were told not to. That's your job. Do we know where... We are assuming the Forbiddance is going to be... Is, is that because of the Forbiddance? No. Um, it, they, it's a bit of a different one. The plane of air is unusual. Your usual um, ideas of place are... Well, turned on their head, rather. Um, this one... There is no obvious forbiddance from the outside, but they cannot get into it without extreme risk to themselves. So we have managed to establish that it is the location of the seal, but that's all we can tell you. Figure out how to get... Indeed. Well, Your Honor, I just would like to say that if I do not make it back, it has been an honor and a privilege. And Edith will bow. Likewise, dear. But do come back. This place I mean, be... I'm certainly going to try, absolutely. But, you know, you never know. I believe you have promised me soup that I have not yet tasted. That is actually correct, now that I think about it. And I'm a little ashamed that it has been this long. So I will be back so that you don't, uh, you know, curse me or nothing. Well, Achfe have long memories. Especially when it comes to things promised. Damn, I better not die, for sure. <laughs> Watching Alex hide there. <laughs> I was like, Alex, like, Alex would be like, nope, don't give anything away now. Nope, nope, nope. Why did you do this, Edith? We're going to have a talk. Edith is clueless. Chess is like, oh, no, but. Well, I'm sorry that I cannot give you more information. This is a sort of shrouded in mystery situation. What we know is we're the road begins but walking it will be your task today do it and it's safe to assume that he's going to have operatives waiting there correct I, I think it is not safe to assume anything I think any preconceptions could be dangerous to you but you should be prepared for Opposition. Okay, Alex will click his fingers in his 
broom will like flying broom will jump up into his hand and he'll sit on it delicately side saddle and just be like It's particularly funny because the lady has true sides, so she's just seeing Alex do that. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> and everyone else is seeing, like... This gorgeous tiefling. <laughs> gorgeous tiefling in a slinky dress, just, like, <laughs> sitting side saddle politely on a flying broom. Are you ready? Yeah. Yep, Brimmy let's do will this. roll out the carpets of her and my kingdom. Mm -hmm. You try not to die. <laughs> Try. But the seal's the most important. Yes. We know that. Well, open roads then. And she claps her hands, and you are all transported to the plane of air. Oh boy. It looks like this. You are on top of a huge pillar of rock. To the point where you can't see the bottom of it. You can see clouds, um, but you cannot see where it is rooted, if in fact it is rooted anywhere. Um, all of you are floating. You are not on the rock. You are floating in the air. Um, so... There is a... What? I was say, do we like think of a direction and can we go that way and floating? You, you could. Are you trying that? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's what happens. When you think of a direction, you float off in that direction. Um, around you are clouds and wind. And it's not like super strong wind, but there's definitely a constant moving of air around you and a constant sense of like... Um, yeah, of like movement, of, of just general movement. Um, surrounding the central pillar are eight more pillars, and on each one is a door. And on the central pillar is a huge wooden chest with four locks on it. It is easily taller than any of you. It's enormous. Um, what do you want to do? I want to look around. Okay, what do you, what, are, are you looking for anything in particular? Looking for threats. Sure, make a perception check. Like, there's a giant chest, like to... that's a trap, but is there anything else? Yeah, Chris, uh, Alex doesn't see oh. shit all, because he rolled a two. <laughs> Bunch of clouds! Um, Edith would oh, like to really? look around to, to discover anything hidden. Sure. Anything that's hiding or disguised yep. or whatever. <clears throat> so, Claudette over there just went, oh, and so it begins! <laughs> Just because of, yep, Mara's going to clutch her bead um, from the boon of Halazan and mm -hmm. see if there is a mimic within a hundred feet of us. Okay. It's not a mimic. It's not a mimic. Okay. That means that the doors aren't mimics either. 23, because I have the CNC ability cool. thing. Um, there's nothing that's immediately threatening you, but you can definitely see things flying in the air around the tower. There are a number of flying creatures, um, griffins, um, things of that nature. Like, winged Make sure I should. But, but none of them are paying any attention to you. It's like they're just hanging out. It's like birds in a forest, right? They're not, yeah, they're just there. <laughs> Anybody good with locks? So I have thieves tools and I'm proficient in it for some reason. I um, have a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I don't know any of these people. <laughs> Alex I is gonna just got thrown in here. Detect magic. I can cast knock once per day because of a boom. Very smart. Those yes, those. Right. Locks are super duper magical. They're full of abjuration shit. Uh, guys, that's full of magic on those locks. It's weird abjuration stuff. I don't know what that could possibly do, but <laughs> that's definitely magic stuff. <sighs> okay. Was it was well... dangerous. Should I not try to unlock it then, honey? I mean, do we need to? 
Uh, is there any uh, words or anything on this chest? Is it just a normal chest? Is there an make instruction? Evan, make an investigation <laughs> check. Sweet, perfect. Um, hold on, let me check something. Can I guide myself on this investigation? Sure. Cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, 14 plus 3 plus 13. A lot. Lots of numbers. <laughs> <laughs> the chest itself has no markings on it. It's just a really big wooden chest. The locks each have a compass, one of the cardinal compass points on them, on the front of it. So there's a north, south, east, west. North, south, east, or west. Look, they have that like stylized compass look, but it's only one of each of the cardinal directions on each. Old for collar. I need to reread our poem. <laughs> Jezebel, my sweet granddaughter, can you give me the true eyes or whatever that is? Should I have that now? When should I do that? It does only last an hour. Grand oh, grand. okay. I, I, yeah. I can wait. We can do that. I don't know. I don't want my eyes to go all funny either. We could wait until it's like we really need to do it. I don't know. I don't know. You're the expert, dear granddaughter. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a minute, shall we? All right. Well, do you think we should start trying to unlock or Which... check out the door? What order are the locks in for the direction? Question. North, east, south, west. So they're in the order that it would be clockwise, if that makes sense. Because we learned, like, it's... I'm trying to remember, and I don't remember where I wrote it down, but... It is in the middle... of the compass, if I remember correctly. Make a history check if you want to see if you what you remember from what you've been told. Oh, do I have inspiration? Because I have a nap one. You do. <laughs> this is starting real oh. well for us all. That's, that's yeah. way better. Uh, 17 plus 8, 25. Okay, so you remember that the conversation was that the, the rose in question is a compass rose. And what a compass rose is, is essentially the the iconography of the compass with the... What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Standing in this tower looking at a chest. <laughs> That's not a mimic. Standing on this chest. <laughs> Our brains have already failed. Yes. Well, worse mm -hmm. comes to worse. You said the locks were magical, right? Yes. Yep. We could just ritually cast a spell magic. I have it. You have it. It would take us 20 minutes both to cast it twice to get rid of the locks. But I don't know if that's the name of the game. Mm. The I also of... have it. <laughs> yeah, go. Okay. Oh, I was just saying, I also have to spell magic if that's the way you go. <laughs> the tech magic doesn't give you like an idea of the strength of the magic, does it? It, it just it, goes. It tells you the and... type of magic, yeah. so you know it's abjuration, but that's all you know. Okay, so what I'm thinking is <clears throat> maybe we need to find the right key, and if we dispel the magic, <laughs> it'll break something. Like, I find it very suspicious that there's a chest surrounded by doors. <laughs> so, I'm going to go check out one of these doors and distinctly not touch it or open it. That's so, yes, so I'm Alex, the north, Alex north, is going to zip up east here. West. And, like, he's still got detect magic up. Yep. No, there's doors. And <laughs> see if there's anything on the door. If Mara sees Alex starting to nip off, she's going to pull out Angus and sort of jump off the um, jump off the carpet and fly after him. You, you don't need Angus, you can just think yeah. about it. 
but yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Alex, yes, but she's make an away. investigation <laughs> check for me, please. Oh, that's almost quasi respectable. Uh, oh, I didn't realize I got the thingy for that. So, 14 plus 8, so that's 22? 22, yeah. I can math. Yay, <laughs> math. Um, it is a large wooden door. It has no markings on it. Um, no markings, no magic. Nope. Well, it probably has magic. Hang on. Please hold for my magic thing. Please hold for magic. I guess it might be... Enchantment? Enchantment. Probably enchantment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go with enchantment. Actually, I can find out. <laughs> While you, you continue, it, discuss uh, among yourselves. It was just one, one compass rose, right? Or was it? Okay, thank you. I finally yeah. have notepad. <laughs> notepad is how um, a whole pile of Alex I, stuff. I don't think we should all be splitting up either. So, mm. in case you guys don't remember our. I lied, it's conjuration. If why. Um the poem that went with our our CL oh god. I just got it. Oh. The fourth will rise into the air, where four stand guard, a frozen stare. A ruby red, a rose of brass. It does not will. She will not pass. You uh, will flower of brass. You melt that shit. I'm I'm scared if we start opening doors that we're going to be summoning things. Well, we're going to have to summon things. If regarding... I know. I just I don't want us to be apart. If don't want us to be what? Apart. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so. There's clearly nothing on this door other than being a bit magic. Yep. I'll be like, all right, let's all group back up. So Alex will zip back down to where everyone else is and be like, okay, so there's no markings on that door. It's a little bit conjuration magical. Are any of you casters? Yes. Oh, we, Alex is a caster. Yeah. Make an Lina. arcana check. If you're proficient in Arcana, you can make an Arcana check. Do I have the thingy? Yeah, I got the thingy! I'm using that Twitch inspiration already, because that was a one. <laughs> Doing so good, you guys. Turning through our inspiration. I'm afraid to touch my dice because they hate me before today. <laughs> so, a uh, total of 21. You get the distinct impression that these doors are teleportation portal kind of situation. They don't go anywhere. Like, if you look around them, there's nothing on the other side. So, mm -hmm. you you get the vibe that if you go through it, you're going somewhere. <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> and we can't see the, this tower from where we are, right? Well, you're on top of one. We're on top of like what's like a series of towers. Like you're on top of a gigantic Down pillar tower. of rock, <clears throat> surrounded by eight other gigantic pillars of rock. <laughs> the door mm -hmm. on top of each one. <laughs> and she told you she was sending you right to the tower, so you could probably surmise yeah. that this is in fact the tower. Okay, so. I got an idea, so it's a bad idea, because I only have bad ideas. I think we need to go through a door, and the door's going to take us somewhere, and I don't know where, 
and I don't know what's going to be dealing with on the other side of it, and I don't know which one's the right door, and it's a bad idea. It's the only idea we've so got. Please some, tell me somebody's got a better idea. Let's build off your bad idea. All right, let's do this. Can we first inspect all the doors to see if any of them look different or look used? That's a good idea. But also, does anyone... open more than one door? And just leave them open and see what happens. I feel like that's a bad idea. That's a um, bad idea. But also, can Why? Anyone, does anyone have the ability to tell which direction is truly north? Mara pulls out her flask. But have a compass on it. Oh, nice. <laughs> she went shopping for a while ago and got that. <laughs> I was going to say, was that from Scrat? <laughs> Is one of my useless Scrat items actually useful? Mara, I'm so happy. You look at your compass and it is spinning. Oh no. Damn. Oh. So we're at the North Pole, so every direction we go is south. Or we're at the South Pole and every direction we go is north. What's the problem? On a different plane. There you're, is you're no plane of air. <laughs> there are no poles yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, well. Okay. So I'm going to go have a look at all of these pillars, mm -hmm. or, or all of these doors. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. just going to look. I'm not going to touch, and then I'll come back. So if you guys all stay here, and if something goes weird, I will run back to you guys. I was following him. She's not letting him go alone. <laughs> Cool. Make an investigation check. Mara will help with the investigation. Uh, 16. Uh, Ruby will come and, uh, uh, guidance. You have guidance. Oh. Right. Yeah. No. And advantage from Mara. Mm -hmm. While they do this, Edith is going to watch to see if she notices anything change or shift or just anything. I mean, this whole place is, is all about change and shift because it's clouds and wind and everything is moving all the time. There are, like you, you saw, winged things on the outside. They're still there. They're floating. But there's nothing, there's nothing threatening you. So, 21? These doors are all identical. None of them are marked. They're all, all the... exactly the same as each other. Same magic vibe? Yep. Okay, so either we have to go into the door and try and find a key for the chest. And there's like, no there's no footsteps or anything like that either. Like no mark okay. What if they're all the same door somehow? Is that a thing? Possible. So mm -hmm. on the map there's a door that's got a pinion in it and a rope hanging from it. Oh yeah, so there is. Sure, that rope can be there. So but I'm the doors are all the like, same. So, does anyone want to know what's at the end of the rope? I'm not saying we fly down there, I'm saying we pull whatever is up. Yeah, we can do that. It's gonna be such a long game, you guys. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, we Gee, gotta start doing I something. wonder why all of us are like, okay, don't touch anything, don't touch anything, we're all gonna die, we're all gonna die, don't touch anything. Are you pulling the rope up? Carefully. If one said Mara will pull it up. You pull it up and the end is frayed, like something was attached to it, but it's gone. Mm -hmm. the, the, lock, the, lock the, edge again. the lock that is north, is it is it pointing in a direction? I mean, on the chest, the mm -hmm. lock is, the picture is pointing upwards. So and like the lock. The and then the next here. lock it's pointing to the right, the next lock it's pointing down, okay. the next lock it's pointing here. So they're so not pointing to lock... specific they're they're clearly cardinal directions, but they're not like mm -hmm. that door. Oh, yeah. okay. I was gonna say, is it like this door is like where the north one is? What I was wondering. But also we have it checked up. That's to see if there's anything. Out of plane vertical. <laughs> Are you going up? Who's going up? I'll go up with you. I'll go up. Okay, you fly up as far as you want. You see some things with wings flying around. Some of them look at you in a confused, sort of curious fashion. They leave you alone. You don't find anything. All right, go back down. I think no. we have to go to some stupid door. Yep. Yep. Or unlock a lock. 
I mean, honest. I mean, I feel like this is too obvious. I feel like this is a trap. So what if we just do this? What if we pick one fucking door, and that's north, right? And then based on that, then we have to choose what the other doors are based on what we've selected as north. So we have to do it in like that, and that's it. And we go through each one, right? So if we do this one, say mm -hmm. north, then we go through this one for east, this one south, west. Yeah. So we choose what north is, and then after that, all the other doors, we have to do it in the right order. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Fuck it. Hey. Who's opening the door? Wait, so w w which door are we... <laughs> Let's pick a door first so we all know which door we're going to. <laughs> what about yeah. the true eyeballs? Do I need that? True Will eyeballs. it help me... Will it help me pick the right door? You know, you might actually be onto something there. Come over here. Come on. All right. Now, Beautiful. I'm going to warn you, because I don't know what happened to Rumi. <laughs> but... Okay, so this is the thing. When you get back, and when we get back, before we go, close your eyes. Do not look at the ladies. Very, very important that you close your eyes. Okay. I'm going to try to tell you, but chat. right now, <laughs> close your eyes when we get back. Hello, Laura. Um, and Alex will take out some eye ointment and, like, spread it on your eyes and cast uh, True Sight. No, it's now called True Eyeballs. Oh. <laughs> yeah. True cool. You, you look at the doors eyeballs? with your true eyeballs, and true eyeballs. they all look identical and exactly like they looked before, except now you can sort of see a vague shimmer that there's some sort of magic on them. I mean, they're what a little that? sparkly now, but they yeah. all look the damn same. They are the same. Even the locks, too? Yep. All right, let's just do this. Come on, guys, let's go. I'm gonna open the door because. Which, which door are we opening? <laughs> this one over here. That one. Cool. Is it Kayla? Is, is the what? chest actually a chest? That's a yeah. good, good question. Okay. Yeah. Um, Zinkayla, roll me a d8. Also, um... one. Cool. One. Yes, what were you gonna say, Zinri? Oh, Zinri is taking her potion of. That seems wise. Oh, yeah. Cool. Alex will neck that as well. The... Remy will do that, and she will also activate her boon of something that gives me po poison resistance. Yes, the beer one. Yeah, the beer one. Cool. All right. Alex so... actually has two potions, like the potion of resistance and next is potion of comprehension. So if something tries talking to us, he can talk back. Cool. All right. <laughs> So you open the door, and all you can see is like a shimmery portal. Are you stepping through? I'm tired yeah. of waiting, yes. <laughs> yeah, cool. let's fucking do it. All right. You find yourselves on a platform. Now, to be very clear, although this looks like a room on the map, it is, in fact, a platform. Around you okay. is just air in every direction. Um... In the center is a large statue of someone who looks like a very important djinn. And on one side of the room is a dome of like opaque moving cloudness. Um, what would you like what, to do? What sort of djinn does this look like? What do you mean? So Alex has encountered a water air yeah. gin 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 proper gin air yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. not like a marid or yeah like an actual gin. Rumi would ask uh, Nana to pull out her flask again to see if the compass is working at all. Yep, <laughs> not working. Go spin and down. Eyeballs show anything fancy or new. 
Does True Sight actually show you magic? Uh, Please hold while I look it up. Please I don't hold think it magic. does. Now I've got okay, to actually right. search for True Sight because D and D right, doesn't know it, yeah. that we have um, renamed the the thing. You see things <laughs> for how they actually are. Yep. You notice secret doors hidden by magic and can see into the ethereal plane out to the range of 100, 120 feet. Okay. So, make a perception check for me, Edith. Also, I'm very excited about our new dynamic shit that we've managed that to is put awesome. into Roll20. It's that is very cool. Really <laughs> so that comes to 23. Yeah. Um, you can just make out through the dome that there is a chest there. Yeah. All right, I'll Inside sure it. Say. Yeah. So that I don't say that every single time, just assume anything the DM tells me Edith <laughs> is going to share with the group. Yep. Yep. Inside the dome over here, like the air stuff? Yep. So that's <laughs> essentially like a dome. It kind of looks like... um. Yeah, it looks like a dome that has like clouds and and something whirring inside it. And Edith can see that inside inside of that there is another chest. Um, Alex God. would have stepped forward and uh, sort of like look around to everyone else and sort of get an okay to like start speaking. Mm -hmm. And if everyone's sort of like okay with that, he's going to. Rumi would just poke. Uh, Rumi would just poke him and just whisper, be polite. And Alex will take a bow towards this um, gin and say, uh, Good day, uh, sorry for intruding, but uh, we, we're merely travelling past and we would like to discuss before we possibly offend. And introduce ourselves. The statue. Yes. It it does not respond. <laughs> Girls on the stairs, they're statues. Guys, I think it's just a statue. Okay. Um, there's nothing particularly magical within ten feet of me. Of you? Yeah. Nah. Okay. So um, <laughs> I just clicked the. <laughs> stream to move my token yeah um. <laughs> i do that especially when i'm watching other streams i try to move the map on the thing and i'm like oh, i can't do that <laughs> so yep i'm gonna like take a little quick zip around and not touch anything like i'm still on my broom so i'm like five foot off at least five ten foot off the floor mm -hmm. i'm just gonna move down to like here and just see if anything's. Um, so as you go past the statue, you can see that the inlays on the ground that are glowing have some kind of magic going on. It's probably... This is probably enchantment. Enchantment magic. Let's go with that. Enchantment? Yeah. Mara's not going to let him get away and go alone <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> um, Mara's learned that lessons. Um, and Don't let Alex go anywhere alone. <laughs> so I will move down to like here and have a quick look down this corridor. It's it's not a corridor. It's a platform that ends oh, okay. and then there's air. Yep. Cool. You can assume um, that for all of all of them. All right. Cool. Sorry. And then I will <laughs> picking up the these runes were magic, I'm not going to fly over the ones in this corner and just loop back around to where everyone else is. And I yeah. will make sure that Mara's, like, following along right behind me, so I'm, like, navigating the path through what could be magic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'll come back to here. So, any anything else, like, ping for, like, magic? I mean, the big cloud dome is clearly magical. It is also abjuration. Okay, guys, so... Maybe you can dispel that, somebody. That's magic, oh, no. and it seems to be, like, abjuration-y. 
Those runes are magic, so I would definitely say don't stand on them. No, no. Go in? Well, I mean, can you somebody try and dispel this cloud? If it's magical. Yeah, I can. Do you want me to? Yes, I, I vote yes. Yeah. Do we, do we think this is time sensitive? Where we should just use a spell slot, or should we do it ritually? Oh, we can take ten minutes. Wait, is there anything like threatening around us? You can make a perception oh. check. Yes, yes, I can right now. Uh, modify twenty. No. However, you do notice that there is some writing on the statue. At the base, uh, like on the plinth. Damn it. What language is it? You currently have your I can read anything mojo, right? It is Orin. Oh, what does it say? It says, Kusam al Belil ben Nafat al Yugayim, Lord of the Jinn, Caliph of Ice and Steel, make your offering, children of air. Anyone who is proficient in history can make a history check, if you wish. Alex will sort of say that out loud as he realizes that he can read it. Twenty-seven from Rumi. Ooh. Oh, Rumi, you have a lot of memories of very important people, and you recognize this as the name of the caliph of the jinn of the plane of air this is like the big kahuna of this place uh she would ask that on to everybody um the ice and steel is literally his like city his palace okay <clears throat> what he would like is an offering probably not sandwiches or anything i would assume right you know i'm trying to look i'm like i uh, don't know what i got <laughs> With a 27, um, would there be any knowledge of, like, is he one of four? Was there four big um, um, leaders of the air with the with the reading that she had been doing, too? No, he he is very much the... the so, so the plane of air, the jinn are, like, the primary kind of inhabitants of the plane of air. Mm -hmm. Um, apart from more animal kind of things, um, or like monsters, but the jinn are like the people of this place. Okay. Um, specifically the jinn, the genie, like the air, they are air elementals, essentially. Okay. Um, and he is the king of them. Okay. Um, but there aren't three others. Except maybe that, like, there are Marids who are water genie. They may have a king, but in terms of the plane of air, this guy is the boss, yes. the big guy. Is there any offerings around, like a, like past offerings, maybe? Even an offering plate or something that they're an altar. Make a, I guess, investigation check. Now we'll get in on the investigation. Thirty. Thirty. Yeah. Was that a net twenty? No, I rolled a 17 and I have a plus 30. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um, there are not, but there are the slightest of little crumbs and pebbles around where these glowing runes are. So you think that maybe if anything has been offered, it has been consumed. Pebbles as in like rock pebbles? Sure. Or like bits of things. I don't know. Too small for you to really identify what they are. Fair. Edith doesn't see shit with a 10, I would say. <laughs> oh, we got a 23. <laughs> and that's been consumed. Um. Can I think of any type of plant that might be, like, native to the air thing? Like, can I native air? Yeah, like air, air plant. plant? That's sure. 
Make a nature check while I look that up. <laughs> I have some of them in my bathroom right now. Uh, hold on, let me see what I have night. Uh, n uh... So I have oh the boon God. of blah blah, blah this blah, fancy water lady. Yeah, Duskenia. Yes, and it says yes. to recall lore about terrain, plants, animals, and the weather and it natural uh, cycles, would that count in this sure. case? Sure! Yeah! Absolutely! Oh. <laughs> alright, alright. And you said it's nature? I did. So, 22. <laughs> I googled plants on the plane of air and I got whether you're allowed to take plants on an aeroplane. Thanks, <laughs> Google! That's not what I want! <laughs> Get these goddamn the plants yes. off the goddamn <laughs> airplane. <laughs> 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 Uh, Alan, the answer uh, is also yes. Mac just had a moment of, I'm so glad right now that Edith isn't cursed. Just getting yeah. that out there. <laughs> Could you imagine if she no. still had that friggin' amulet no. right now? No, I can't. Um, plants on the plane of air are usually things that float. So there are things like umbrella ferns that like float through the air. Um, and they, they, so they don't, they they don't grow in the way that you're used to plants growing. They're more like, um, I'm thinking about like dandelion puffs, right? But without the dandelion part of it, they just, they, just the puffs, <laughs> that, that kind of thing. Uh, wait, didn't we bring like picnic stuff? Like enough for, why don't we put like, a whole, a whole thing? Uh, maybe he on... does want some sandwiches. Try some peanut butter yeah. and jelly. Exactly. You know. Think, think of the genies a PB and J sandwich. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Everyone likes PB and J, honey. Mm. Okay, so quick question as well. Is that doorway still behind us? Yeah. Like Okay, yep. cool. There. So we can just leave here. Nothing is actually stopping us. Awesome. We do have a thing. I just don't know if this is the place for it. Say not. <laughs> and I don't. I don't want to use it if this isn't the place. So yeah, let's just put some food down as an offer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give him. Give him one of my sandwiches. Well, I'll pull out the sandwiches and put one of them down. Alex is going to literally clear out the rest of his gold, so it's eight gold, and put it down next to him. He literally has no money anymore. Eight oh gold. God. Okay, you watch as both the, the I... sandwich kind of starts to smoke, like it's burning, and then is consumed, and the gold like melts and almost seems to fall into the gaps, and they kind of glow a little bit, and then but nothing further happens. Okay. Mara pulls get out the one feeling of that maybe eight gold and a PBJ sandwich isn't going to cut it. <laughs> okay. Well, then... Uh, we, but gold looks like it would work? Yeah. Well, yeah. All I right. mean, it, it certainly made it glow a little bit. Mara pulls like out a dagger. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, did, I didn't hear what you said, Jen. Oh, uh, Zinkela has no attachment, so all of her gold, 3,050, right there. <laughs> oh! Alright! Uh, when I say I pulled out all of my gold, I mean, I left pretty much all of my gold in my heart. Because Alex is convinced he's gonna die, and the only gold that he had is on him was eight. So, you watch his 3,000... five... how much? 3,000... And 50. And 50 gold also disintegrates and disappears into these these cracks. They glow a lot and then subside and nothing further happens. Well holy shit. Uh pulls out a dagger. Okay. And is it a is it any up. particular dagger or just a dagger? It's, it's just a dagger. The thing what happens with that. Same thing. It like melts away. <laughs> There's a little bit of a glow. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Does 
Does anyone have anything personal to give? I mean, I have a map <laughs> from where I'm from. Could I try that? You're from a very strange place, are you not? I am from a different plane. If you are willing, it might be worth it. Well, I mean, I guess at this point I, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, sure, fuck it. And she pulls out um, a map of a strange land called NYC Subway System and places it on uh, the thing. It immediately bursts into flame and turns to ash and disappears into the thing and the 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 runes glow really brightly like really brightly you get the distinct impression that this is that your personal connection has made a difference here that that is more important oh so then i do one of my my favor favor feathers and put it down same thing there are flames and it is engulfed and then glows really bright each time it's a little bit brighter make a perception check <laughs> just all of you just for funsies Ten. 33 oh, with a natural 20 I am. <laughs> okay well edith definitely notices that on those last two um, the circle of clouds, the clouds sort of begin to dissipate a little bit and then come back a bit. So this is having an effect. This is good, kids. Everybody else, find some personal stuffs, maybe. But, but I just got this, and she pulls out a rock that that Ferris just gave her, that if you listen, it sounds like the air, and it mm -hmm. was her lucky thing that that Ferris just gave her and she was really excited about, but okay. And she'll go and put it. Edith will, will give her arm a, a little comforting squeeze. Yeah. She's like trying not to cry. Okay. Again, there's a massive like of flames and the rock melts into the thing. Again, the clouds start to dissipate and then return. Alex will sit down, cross-legged on the ground, look at the statue and be like, like, just thinking through, like, fey bullshit. Mm -hmm. Knows that this is a dangerous thing. But also understands that the goal is more important. And will reach into, his, into one of his pockets and pull out this little stone that Doris made for him. And just tap it on the side of his head so it makes the sound of the uh, ocean for uh, six seconds. And just be like... Same again. Very carefully places it down. <laughs> Flames! <laughs> Move your hand fast. <laughs> it, it melts into the thing. They, these these things are glowing really, really glowily now. Um, with these detect magic up, how far, like you were saying, this like makes like a thing of magic, sort of like. No, they're the... just they're just glowing. Okay, so it's not like the glowing's not getting like taller or no, bigger no, no. over just this statue. Brighter. Just okay. brighter. Yeah. Because Alex is like, are we going to accidentally summon this guy or? <laughs> Mara pulls out her knitting. At the moment, there is half of a baby blanket that she's knitting in special fireproof um, silk thread. <laughs> Um, put to half of one of these on there and she just sort of looks at it for a moment and then places that on <laughs> it also bursts into flames but it's fireproof so it, it takes a much longer time but eventually does in fact melt away into the thing there there <laughs> is much much glowage the clouds are almost struggling now to stay the rest of you can now catch glimpses of this chest inside there. Uh, Rumi will step up and start talking to the statue. 
I learned once not to carry anything personal on me no more. So she will take out her long sword. Just a plain long sword because she left mm-hmm. the sun sword behind. Yep. Um, and draw a line across her wrist and give up some of her blood. Wow. Okay. Alex super uncomfortable with this, but he shuts up. She has nothing else to give. She leaves everything behind now. So, as the drops of your blood hit the the runes, they are also consumed. They're just phew, evaporated into nothingness. Um, and they will glow very, very strong. And... Oh, hang on. clouds drop and there is a chest sitting there it has no lock on it biscuits are great do i see anything with my true sight anything new or different nope it's just a chest somebody want to check out for traps alex will get within 10 feet <clears throat> and see if there's any like magic just a chest Did we open it? Somebody open it. You, you guys want me to open it? I'll open it. I'll open it. I'll open it. Who's opening it? I will. I'll let you do it. I'll keep my true eyeballs. Okay, you open it. No traps go off. Inside is a notebook. Is that it? Uh, bound in leather. Yep, just a notebook. Okay. All right, so take out and get to everybody. Does it have like writing on the front of it, or not on the front? No, it's just a notebook. No particular magic vibe coming off it. Nope. <sighs> All right, so we open it. Is it in a language that we understand? It or is maybe? not, except for Alex. Is your thing still? How long does your thing last? An hour. It's the okay. same effect yep. as comprehend languages. So. It is. It is also written in Orin, and a quick glance shows you that it is essentially the instructions for the ritual that banished Titania. Oh, Alex will oh, be basically like skimming through it because he knows that this won't last. This isn't a constant yep. thing for this spell. Uh, potion. So, so it outlines the, the information of how Oberon went about doing this and what it took to make as it work. He's, yeah, as he's skimming through it, like he'll basically be going through dot point style and he'll be saying it out loud mm. and oh. basically flicking through at a reasonable, like not yeah. super fast, but at a reasonable yeah. pace. Now, to fully understand what they've done, it is it is not a simple ritual. It is oh. obviously very complex. So you would need more than just a quick flick through to really understand it. But it does, you can clearly see that that's what this is. This is yeah. instructions for each seal, the different druids, their names, what happened, how they went about doing it. All that information is in this book. Alex is just like hitting the dot points until he finds yeah. something related to exactly where they are. Oh, okay. Um, Make a. What's going on? And then just make an intelligence like, check. In make an intelligence check for me. Oh man, can I guide him through this? I was gonna say, yeah. yeah can we buff him? Yeah, brother, because <laughs> someone just rolled a nat twenty. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so okay. no, no, no. It's your guidance could still because come I important. only roll one. <laughs> um, so I've got a plus three to my just intelligence, so that'd be a total of twenty three. Okay. Roll the d four with that. Roll, still roll a d4. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, so add another four to that. <laughs> Just watching so. chat go crazy here. It's great. All right. Um, so you get to the bit about the plane of air, and it is. Um, hang on. Please hold. Please hold for. I need to look at something. I wasn't expecting Alex mm-hmm. to actually roll well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, okay. that was I. I was like, holy shit, that's in that twenty. I All didn't right. do that. So. Um, you discover that the druid who designed and created the seal was called Eladio. Um, yeah, that sounds like it. What and he is... The, the seal is about 
solving puzzles predominantly uh, of course it, it is designed to be it's very clear as you flick through the book that every seal is different every seal is individual and has its own um particular things going on and and they're designed so that if you've broken some of them you don't know what's coming next um and yeah this one is about puzzles oh. it's about Ooh, i hope it's a crossword <laughs> thinking your way through <laughs> um it's all very cryptic. It's still cryptic. There's a lot of discussion about the cardinals and the winds, and the the druid obviously was very focused on that kind of stuff, which makes sense because plane of air. Yes, there's a Sudoku. You solve a Sudoku, you break the seal. No. <laughs> well, guys, sorry, oh, uh, it was rude. Um, oh, rude. Stupid things make no sense. I say the name and specify that this is the uh, the name of a druid to see if. Um, Zinkri, I'm sorry, I forgot. Zinkayla. Zinkayla. See if that name, like, triggers anything for them as I'm going through. I mean, you can make That's a history check. Rude. That's kind of rude. <laughs> just assume all druids know each all other. All druids know each other. Yeah. Well known. I'm <laughs> just going, like, this is like some sort of legendary <laughs> druid. Do they have, like, some, like, are well, they, like, I some... gave it all the beans, and I rolled a natural 20, so 21 for... You've never heard of this guy. Never heard of him. It was a long shot. It's cool. Yeah, such um, a waste of a natural 20. <laughs> oh. No, it's not. Alex has been looking for this information for a really long time. And All right, well, we've got it. Somebody put it in a bag of holding. I have one. Does anybody else have one? Yeah, I do. Oh. Um, yeah. And so whoever has the go bag, it is also a bag of holding. <laughs> oh, so. who doesn't have a bag of holding? That, that might be the better question. <laughs> I do not have a bag of <laughs> Yeah, I'll carry the go bag, I guess. Um, so other yeah, than it's, the like, it's cryptic and it's all about puzzle solving, there's nothing mm -hmm. specific about this seal in this book. It's pretty right. vague. It's pretty, yeah. like, it doesn't have step-by-step -step instructions on how to break it. It's it's more about the, the way that the different druids have approached the the problem of of facing the seal and how they did it um and this particular really... guy was very cerebral very brain oriented very focused on yeah okay yeah. so alex is going to take the notebook and go okay remember exactly what this looks like i'm going to put this in my bag of holding if there is a choice between picking me up and my bag take my bag this must return and i put it in my bag of holding okay all mm -hmm. right all right let's go back out Can you go back up well zinri will bow to the statue for sure. all right so you return back to the original spot that you were on before as soon mm -hmm. as you exit the door the eight external pillars begin to spin <gasps> And they spin, and they spin, and they spin, and then they slow, and they stop. You have no way of telling which door you just went through. Kind of an absolute um, bitch. <laughs> um. Cool. So, um, cool. next time, uh, um, I make a flower, and we'll tie it to the doorknob and see if that works. Were they mixing up as they went, or were they just... Spinning. Just, just spinning. Just... Yeah. Wait, okay. So was it the whole pillars spinning or yep. just the doors? Nope, the pillars. Okay. So, the... so I'm assuming you were all up in the air when this happened. Yeah. Right. It, we would have waited right. until you'd all left and then it went. But... Right. All right. We'll go through the same so door. It, it could be as simple as we make a mark on the ground. Firebolt it, put a dent in the ground. Good idea. Alex will reach down right now. I just put three Eldritch Blasts into the ground. <laughs> She's like, oh, that had the weird rope. just for fun. Yep. Well, we don't know if this is the same... Because, like, we're all up in the air. Everything spun around underneath us. This might be the same door. It might be a different door. We don't yep. know. So he's going to mark this one. It's like, yeah. same door? Yeah, think, same door. I think, That's right. I think the right. thought is, though... So... They're all in order. They didn't switch spots, so where the rope is should be 
two doors down from the one we went in. Exactly. Alex stops and he's like, you're a genius. <laughs> Where's the rope? I mean, we can say the rope is currently here. Okay. Hey. Okay, so two doors to the left of that was where we were. Yeah. So if we go over to there, somebody else mark that so we know we've been through there. Alex can, will wait by this door so people can come back to us because we've marked, I've marked this one already. If most people were staying over with Alex, Mara will nip over to the one that they went through and Eldritch blast that one. Yeah, I'm rock in front of it. Okay. So there's a mark on the ground in front of that one. Okay. Cool. cool. Next, we have to do east. Is that the order that it was in before? On the locks, right? We don't know which one was north. We can just yeah. pretend that one was north. If we've marked this one, we let's get through this one. Yeah. All right. I like that plan. <laughs> cool. All right. Who's opening the door? Um, I will make sure I refresh my detect magic. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's basically always up. I will push it open. Doppel it. Roll me a d8, Mara. <laughs> Two, you're going in order. Excellent. <laughs> Natural you, 20. How did you, you all, do that off a D8? You, <laughs> you all yeah. go through this door? Yeah, I assume. Yes? Yep. Cool. You find yourselves on another platform. This one is mostly covered in ice. The end that you have entered on is kind of snowy, and then there's what looks like an ice rink. And then on the other side is another snowy bit with a rock, and sitting up against the rock is a skeleton. Oh, well, this isn't foreboding. Mm -hmm. We have one of these back home, but there's no skeletons on us. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm very sure. It's a different holiday altogether, honestly. Although, think of, coming to think about it, that would be a really cool mashup if they did that. Well, the nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> yeah, he did this All from right. the strange, strange lands known as New York City, and you know, mm -hmm. Very if you know, you know. Land. All right. Okay. So does this mean we have to try and talk to the skeleton? Can anyone talk to skeletons? Because, in my experience, they don't tend to talk much. Well, if you have somebody yeah, who can speak, speak deep speech. Thing. Also, like and then you'll cleric on what happened, and then you'll be able to maybe solve that problem. Hey, hey, cleric, bud. I don't remember what your fake name Dreamy. is. Um, <laughs> oh, fake name. <laughs> yeah. You're not. I know. The code name, fake name. Um, do you? Can you talk to skeletons right now? Ooh. I don't think that was something I took today. Okay, we can't. Hmm. No, that is uh, not something I took today. Well, to be fair, nobody thought we would be talking to dead things. That's um, true. As a rule, I try and avoid it. Um, Alex is going to have a right. look around and see what else is around this place other than the dead guy in the corner. Make a perception check. Are you actually on the ice right now, Alex? Oh, that, he's like <laughs> always Just sitting like five, ten foot above All the right. surface. Make a perception check. How desperate are we? Because I could bring it back to ice. So I just rolled another nat 20. Um, <laughs> the 23? Um, again, this is a platform. So around you is just air. I don't know what I've done with Mac. It's scary. Um, <laughs> yeah, very uncomfortable. Apart from what you can see, Alex hovering above the ice, you can see something underneath it moving. 
just figures moving underneath the ice. Guys, guys, this is real important. Don't stand on the ice. Don't, no, no, bad juju. No standing on the ice. Do not stand on the ice. Or be, mm -mm. nope. Why don't we toss Hi. something out onto the ice and see what happens? Should we do that? Wait, 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 wait. No, no. Wait. With Alex saying that and remembering what happened to her last time, Mara just sort of goes up to goes up to Al goes up to Alex and just pulls him higher. <laughs> Alex will gladly just float up like oh, very higher. slowly. <laughs> um, wait, do I get any idea of what power? these figures are? No, it's too opaque and difficult. The only reason you even saw them was because you rolled a natural twenty. <laughs> Um, Zinri's going to go up to the edge of the ice and poke it with her spear. You're poking it, how, the ice. See how thick it is. Yes. See how thick it is. Like. Yeah. Cool. Ding, ding. As you do that. <laughs> Alex popped up another 10 feet. Take <laughs> one. <laughs> As right next to you on the ice. Coming out of it, you see a figure appear. It kind of looks humanoid, but it looks like it's made of, like, cold energy. Um, and it rises up in front of you, Zinri. Hmm? And it raises a hand, and it just smacks you across the, the head. Well, that's not necessary. Mm -hmm. That is a 23 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits. You take ooh, 12 points of bludgeoning damage and 9 points of cold damage, and I need you all to roll initiative. Alex was just about it there then say, I'm terribly sorry for the interruption. <laughs> please, please, please do not. <laughs> um... Okay, over 20? 20. 28. Uh, 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 hold on, uh, math. <laughs> I have an insane initiative now because I'm a bunny. Oh um, yeah, that's true. I know, right? Woohoo! Hold on. 18 <laughs> plus 13. Um... Oh, that's like 30 something. 30, that's like 30 30 30. Cool, yeah. we'll assume Z's going first, then Zinri, Bunny Brigade up in the front. Bunny Brigade! Anyone else over 20? Over 15. 18. 15. Yeah, 15 buddies. I'm 18. Wait, 18. 18. 18. 18. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you are Mara, and you are Alex. That's very unusual for Mara to be this high. Edith, what have you got? Edith got 11. Rumi? 3. <laughs> Where, <laughs> Where, Where, Where I belong. <laughs> Zinkayla. You have watched as this creature, being, whatever it is, has come up straight out of the ice and just smacked Zinri with its big ice hand. What do you want to do? Um, do, 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 do. Hit it with produce flame. Uh, 18 plus stuff. Plus 14 um, to hit. Yes, I'm pretty sure that hits. Yes. Yes, it does. Oh, wait, no, that's 48, not 38. <laughs> I'm sorry, math is not my strong suit. 20 fire damage? Nice. Um, the fire definitely fucks it up a lot. A lot. More than it, it like, bits of it are melting. In a way that makes you think, hey, fire might be the way to go with these guys. You know, I'm just gonna hold. What am I gonna hold? I don't know, what are you gonna hold? I'm sorry! Panic! Oh, I don't go first normally! I'm just gonna hold a. A cure, uh, no, a healing word in case anybody gets hurt between now and my next turn. Cool. Oh. Zenry! <clears throat> Alright. I am going to 
stab it with my spear because that wasn't very nice. Oh, that's not one. So my first one. You know what? Your head's still reeling from being smacked. Yeah, so, um, but my second attack is a 19. That hits. Okay. Seriously. Um, eight points of pokey damage, and uh, I will, as a bonus action, I'll um, unarm strike it. Okay. Is that a magic spear? Yes. It is. Cool. Uh, so 18 for my unarmed. Uh, yes, that hits. So that is 10. Sweet. I'm not gonna... oh, your sound's going in and out again. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to stay right there. Okay. Um, it is now the creature's turn. So the other four also pop up. They all just kind of rise up out of the ice. Um, and they will... Far? Oh, yeah, they're going to just, like, mosey on over. Well, these ones are. These ones are going to hang back a bit. Um, so, we're going to... They do... Alex, how high are you? It's 10 foot. Probably 20 foot in the air. Cool. So, this one is going to come up and smack you in the air. The other one is yep. going to smack Zinri again, and this one's going to go for Zinkela. So, it's two each. So we'll do Alex first. That is a 18 to hit. Misses. Blocks on the shield. Ursa nice. would be proud. <laughs> Second attack is less. So they both miss you. Zinri. That is a 25 to hit. So that is... Um... 17 bludgeoning and 11 cold. Second attack. 19 to hit. That is my AC. Oh my goodness. That is 14. Nope, I lied. Wait. 11 bludgeoning and 11 cold. Zinkela. Uh, just Ow. so you know, Zenry, since you got hit and you took damage, ah. the healing word goes off. So you get 11 points back. <laughs> oh. D, that's a natural 20. Okay. No, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm canceling it. Okay. Do I, do I re-roll or does it just cancel the crit? No, it Which... just cancels the crit. Okay. Cool. So I'm assuming a 27 still hits you, though. Yeah. Yeah, so that is 20 points of bludgeoning. No, no, no. 18, fuck, maths, you guys. <laughs> 7 plus 4 is 11, plus 4 is 15 points of bludgeoning damage. And 10 points of cold. I love the fact okay. that none of us can math today. Oh, no, right. And the next right. is, that's a 19 on the die, so that's 26 to hit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that is 12 points of bludgeoning and 14 points of cold. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, Mara, you're up. <clears throat> okay. Mara's at the same level as Alex. Yep. And she's going to bonus action create a bonfire. <laughs> create a bonfire. In the air. Yes. Um, she can do it 60 foot away. She's going to do it on the one that hit him. <laughs> the one that hit him is in the air next to him. Uh, I don't think it says it actually has to be... Oh, it has to be on the ground. Yeah, that's okay. what I thought. The so one these, on two, the... these two at the back are still on the ice. If you can do it from a distance. 60 foot, yeah. Yep. <laughs> How big is it? Uh, it is a... Uh, da, da, da. 
Let's try and find it again. A five foot cube! Please hold. Uh, let me find you a five foot of fire. Because I have those now, you guys! <laughs> oh, that's much too big. We'll make it smaller. Like, where do you want to put it? Um, on... Yep, that one's fine. There? Okay, yep. cool. <laughs> um, and it needs to please fail a deck save. I think it probably will with that number. That's a seven. <laughs> okay. No, it failed. That made a 16. <laughs> uh, multiple dice. <laughs> 14 of fire damage. How many, sorry? 14. 14. Yes. Okay, so that is a lot more than that. It seems to really not like that at all. Um, Any, anything um, else? She will, as her main action, bounce out her, the blood axe. Okay. Cool. Can you hit with it when you bamf it? I don't, it's just as uh, a packed weapon. Um, as an action, you can create a packed weapon in your hand. Okay. So cool. I don't think you can hit as well. Sweet. But she's got it ready now. Alex. I'm just like I'm gonna look at this person because they'll be at uh, this elemental because they'll be able to understand me from the thing. Yep. It's like look, I understand that was very rude, but you did just hit me, so bang and I'm gonna Eldritch Blast them in the face. Do it. So um I'm up to like three rays of Eldritch Blast. Uh, okay, where'd that dice go? So... I keep forgetting his modifiers to this, it's stupid now. Um, So the lowest is a 21 to hit. Then they all hit. Cool. So. Um, so, nine points of force damage, mm -hmm. another nine points of force damage, so that's mm -hmm. 18. Yep. Uh, and the other one's six plus seven, so that's another... Thirteen. Thirteen. Cool. Sweet. So yeah, that was on the one that hit me. Yes. Anything else? Rude. Um... I'm going to... So these guys can fly, yeah? Yeah. Right, Clearly, because um... this guy has flown up to you. Cool. I'm going to see about, like, moving back. He will get an attack of opportunity on you if you do that. That's what I'm thinking. No, I'll stay where I am. And, yeah, I'll stay where I am. And okay. if... Yeah, no, I'll just say. Cool. Edith. So Edith is going to fly up, float up, whatever, with her little shoes, um, and is going to attempt to attack the one that is engaged with Alex right now. Mm -hmm. So I think she would get flanking for that. Yep. If you fly into yeah. the right spot, yes. 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 Mara, does your bonfire stay there? Or does it go away after? Yes. Yeah, okay. Concentration. Yep. To be twenty two to hit. Yep. Sneak attack went up. Yes, it does that when you level. <laughs> Thirty six <laughs> magical piercing damage total. Wow, nice, nice. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and then she is going to let me look at the map real quick so I'm assuming you're actually like where even are you oh no right. this is sorry yeah. this is the one attacking Alex here yeah. because he's up in the air so yeah. I assume you're like here if you want flanking with him mm. yeah. she's going to make um, use her bonus action to make one more attack Mm -hmm. 
which will be 32 to hit. Yes. <laughs> 32 to hit, Jesus Christ. <laughs> for a total of uh, a 12 piercing damage. Um, oh, that guy and is... Then she, she's going to uh, back up to be out of melee range, and because of her mobile feet, it does not incur an attack of opportunity. Cool. Um, that guy's looking like he's barely holding his eyes together right now. Just so you're aware. Yeah, he um, can't, can't hold his eyes. He can't hold his eyes. That is Edith. Rumi. All right. First thing I'm going to do is fly here so that I'm within five feet of Alex. Denry, and... Oh, where did that go? I must be underneath. You're underneath my character. Okay. So, so uh, Ale he... Alex is like, what, 30, 40 feet in the air at this point? Oh, uh, he'd okay. be like. 25 20, 20 feet. So Zinri and Alex are not within five feet of each other. You can't okay. get within five feet of both of them. Yeah. Is not. Is everyone not up in the air? No. No, Zinri was on the ground because she was hitting the ice with with her spear and. Oh, okay. And where's mm -hmm. Mara? Where are you at then? Mara's in the air. Mara up in the air. So are you kind of behind Alex? Alex? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'll go uh, within five feet of Mara and Alex then. And then I will do, I'm going to do two fireballs. The first one, I'll go to this guy, because I know he's almost out. Yep. That's one that's almost toast. Okay. The one next to Alex. Yep. Yeah. We'll start there. Uh, 25 to hit? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That'll be a whole whopping nine points of fire damage. Okay. Uh, wait, that's, oh, that's enough. He's dead. Okay. And then my second fireball will go to this one that's been damaged by the bonfire. Yep. Uh, these dice are hot tonight. Another 25 to hit. Yes! I hope they're hot doing fire damage. And that is way better with a 19 points of fire damage. Oh my god, now I've got to do math. What's 19 twice? 38. 38. Yeah, Thank you. He looks that hurt, is, too. That is my turn. It's All 19, right. it's almost 20, and you double 20, it's 40, and then you take two away, you get to 38. Yeah, I, I could have done that, or I could just say, <laughs> what's the thing? And someone will give me the answer. Zinkela, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, cool. I'm just going to hit the guy in front. No. Yeah, the guy in front of me with Produce Flame. Okay. Uh, that, that's a natural 20. Yes! Woo. Yes! That way. And it's flame, so you're going to double it, then double it again, because they are vulnerable to flame. To right. fire. What's, mm -hmm. your, what's your roll about... Uh, about so you roll the dice, and then uh -huh. you add the maximum of the dice. Alright. Alright, alright. Oh, you eight. And then you add your modifier. Alright. Uh, so, what's... Eight times six. Forty-eight, right? Yeah, that sounds right. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Fifty, fifty-one. Uh, he's 56. dead. <laughs> if we get to fifty, he's dead. <laughs> no, I'm doubling it. He doesn't have a hundred hit points. <laughs> oh, he's dead already. Stop <laughs> burning the dead guys. Uh, um, he is now one... a paddle. <laughs> this one can melt the ice you know. underneath. All right, sh what, what's that, Z? Uh, this one right here that hasn't done anything, that's a 19 plus 14. Yeah, that'll oh. hit. That's you. Yep. Zenry. All right. I'm going to still stab this guy. Yep. Uh, 19 for the first one? Yep. Eleven. Of... Heavy damage? Yeah. Second. Your sound's doing that thing again. Gosh darn it! Sorry, but my next <laughs> one is, is twenty nine to hit. Yeah. So. 
Um, that is 13 more points. Oh, he as is barely holding action, together. As yes. a bonus action, I'm going to punch him. Okay. <laughs> uh, for 21 to hit. Yeah. That is eight more points of damage. He is barely holding on. Oh man, I thought I'd had him. No, not quite. Right. Very close. That's okay. That's you? That's... Yep, that's me. Cool, he's going to hit you back. And this guy's going to come over here and hit Z. And this one's going to leave the bonfire, fly up, and go <laughs> after Edith. Is there any, if he starts his turn in the bonfire, or is it on your turn? Uh, it's if he ends his turn in the bonfire. Okay. So, Zinri, first attack is a dirty 20. Uh, yeah, that hit. So that is 12 points of bludgeoning and 3 points of cold. Second attack is 23 to hit. Hmm? 15 bludgeoning and 7 cold. Zinkela. What? I said ouch. Oh, okay. Zinkela, <laughs> 14. I'm assuming that does not hit you. No. Second attack. Natural 20. <laughs> okay, no. hold on. I want to try no. something. No. Dice I wanna hate try you. Something. I want to try something. Yeah. I'm going to try to do the schoolyard taunt. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna ro roll my performance. Yep. Roll the 16. I just need a 15. So I'm the rubber. You're the glue. Whatever you say sticks to you. So he takes. He, he takes he the takes damage. The damage. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice. All right. Um, that's this guy. So he is gonna take. Unfortunately, he. Well, fortunately. Unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, he's immune to cold damage, so that can't hurt him. But the main bludgeoning damage, he will take... 7 plus 4 is 11 times 2 is 22 points of his own bludgeoning <laughs> damage. Would just Why reach out, yourself? grab Why a nice yourself? elemental's head, and just go, what, stop it here, stop, stop it here. Stop. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's what just happened. Cool. Oh. Um, eat it. <laughs> Man, this dice is on fire today. That's a 26 to hit. It hits. Um, so that is... Wow. 19 bludgeoning. And... I would like to use my uncanny dodge reaction to half all of this shit. Okay. And 12 cold. Yeah. I'll so let you do that math. 9 and 6. The, the second one is... 15. Yeah, that sounds right. Second one, I rolled a three, so I'm pretty sure that's not going to hit you. Mara! They're not going... Oh, that, that was a... <laughs> Brain! Not working. Okay. Um, Mara's going to try and smack the one. In front of... Uh, no. Right in front of... You're, you're up in the air. So you'd I'll have come to down a bit. Come down okay. a bit and try and smack it. Cool. So... Uh, if I get into the right there. I'm amazed people don't use that schoolyard torn thing more often, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so the first one is a 28 to hit. That hits. <laughs> it was a boon, Mac. It was, yeah, that's where yeah. it came from. I, I've, I've never seen it. <laughs> seen it. This is the first time I've seen it. That's so cool. Yeah. Damage? That's an old one. That's a... 11 bludgeoning and... He's, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> he had 5 left. Okay. <laughs> and... I'm just going to start going straight across towards the skeleton. Okay. okay. Move as far as you can move yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. I believe it would be to about there if I'd come down and... Is your bonfire still there? Over. Yeah. Okay. But it just cool. sits there and burns itself. <laughs> cool. Alex, you're up. My friend, I'd really like it if you left Grandma Mara alone. I'll do it for us. So I'm attacking the one, the one that attacks Edith. Okay. Because, <laughs> you know, leave Grandma alone. 
All right, so the noise. Yep. The lowest to hit is a 15. 15 misses. Okay, so the other two are like 17 on the dice, so they're gonna hit. Oh, yeah, okay. Um... Ooh, max damage on one of those. So, uh... 17 force damage and... And 15 force damage on the other one. That's enough. He's done. One left. What else you got? Um... I am going to... Um... Yeah, just sort of move up with uh, Mara, sort of keeping an eye on what's going on around. And okay. can I, like, as I move as part of my action, see if there's anything more moving around under the ice, because I make, know what to look for? Make a perception check. I'll let you have advantage, because you saw them last time. Yeah, like, 13. Hard to tell! Cool. Edith, you're up. Am I within melee range? Melee range of this one? Yeah! That one was up in the air. It came, the other one oh, came right. Yep, yep. I would say you're... Yeah. She's over it. So she's going to try to stab this guy with the need knitting needles. Okay. Mara looks on enviously as Ooh, there's yeah. 50 needles being used. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a 27 to hit, please. Yep. yep. And that's 9 plus... Thirty-one magical piercing damage. He is dead. Yay! Dead. Dead. Mm -hmm. Like Alex. And will that's go... why you don't hit friends. Guys, don't step on the ice, please. We cannot do this. All right. Everything goes For... quiet. You are out of combat. What do you want to do? For giggles. Um, no. No, no, just... <laughs> no! It's a, so much stuff on the sheet. Um, I, I want to do the thing where I can sense undead within 60 feet of me. Oh, yep. <laughs> and I would like yeah, that's good. It definitely has some undead going on. Okay, that's the only thing within 60 feet? Yep. Can and I see anything with my true eyeballs as well? Oh, there it is. It's the grave. <laughs> I mean, it's a skeleton. There's no illusion yes, around it. No. Nope, it is, it is definitely Adam. a skeleton. No. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, yes. Skeleton is definitely given off some undead vibes. But it's just sitting there. It's not doing anything. We can all be real about that. Adam's right. All right. Let's go forward. Hiding. Okay. 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 Alex is gonna hang back. Um, like twenty feet in the air. As soon as one of you steps on the snow around the skeleton, its head pops up and it just kind of looks at you. Alex will be like, yeah, 20 feet in the air and just go, hello, friend. Just looking. Looking at the skeleton, is there any identifying marks? Like in the picture, it kind of looks like it has stuff on. Make Does a it look like it... perception check for me, please. Perception? Okay. Mm -hmm. 16. Um, it has a pouch on its hip. It has an amulet around its neck with the icon, a very familiar icon of a sun. And inside its rib cage, you can see a key. Okay. Um, Alex is going to move within 10 feet to see if what pings magical. 
So he's going to like come over here and fly down. Um, there's definitely, I mean, the key is magic. The amulet is not. There's some magic things in the pouch. There's magic coming from the pouch. Do, do any of us have anything that, other than like the boons we're carrying, identify us as being potential allies? Oh, yes. Uh, for some of us, we the lady gave us a patch as a gift at one point. So Rumi would have that patch. Oh, I guess that has, has a gallant horde tattoo. That's the gallant horde, yeah. It's the gallant horde symbol. Oh. It wasn't Titania, it was Advik who gave those to you. Oh. But in any case, it's the Horde, not... Yeah. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I, I know Alex Wounds. The Boon symbols, the Boon beads have the ladies... No, they uh, each have a symbol on them that kind of identifies what Boon it is, but okay. nothing. And where they came from. Yeah. Was anybody at the... At the, the Save the Realm? That one had the lady symbol on it. It did. Uh, that one did have. I took a favor. Uh, so, I Kayla, did you remember. take. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Do you have the boon of. The boon from that one, which is the boon. Uh, God, I don't remember what it was called. Boon of the Sun or something like that. Yeah, I can't remember. Maybe the I'm boon just... of the Realm, even. I'm, I'm just thinking of, like, anything that we can display to show we're a potential ally rather than an enemy, because I'd rather not yeah. fight the undead guy. I was going to step up, get a bit closer, and do Fae Presence. Okay. So she's going to get within 10 foot of it and do Fae Presence. What does that do? do are you um, going to or charm? I'm going to charm. Okay, go cool. so, right. A skeleton needs a wisdom save, or it will be charmed. It's immune to charm. Okay. However, hang on, let me roll a thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it turns its attention to you, Mara. And it speaks. And it's speaking in common. And it says, Your magic is from summer yes sweetie we want to help her i knew her once long long ago do you want to help her still i can no longer feel her she is gone we want to bring her back. You need... I think we need the key. Ah. And he reaches, and he breaks his rib bone. And he reaches in and pulls the key out. And holds it out on his bony hand to you. Mara well, takes says, it. Tell her Gladwin Costas is still loyal. He takes it and she holds his hand for a moment. And just says, I'll tell her. Or we'll tell her. As soon as you let it's go like... of his hand, the whole skeleton crumbles into a pile of bones on the ground. <laughs> There's just this amulet. Edith is intentionally, like, not looking at the amulet at all. <laughs> oh, bless Edith. <laughs> Alice She's is really like... uncomfortable. Okay. Is there any, anything specific that looks like it would identify this person? I mean, apart like from the amulet. It... Yeah, but that just has the lady symbol. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mm. that would be he has amulet. nothing else. He has a pouch, the amulet, and the key which he has given to you. Okay, so, well, what a grab I... return the amulet. 
What's yeah. that? Oh, can I, I roll? Just... Sorry, go. I will put a bag of holding down on the ground so it can just be swept into it. <laughs> so that the pouch and the amulet can just be swept in. Okay. I'll, okay. Ex I'll explain that the amulet's not magical. Mm hmm and that something oh, well, in the pouch is magical, and it may be of assistance. Um, <laughs> and that we probably should check it, but that there is risks associated with that. Let's check it. And I rolled to see if I if Rumi would put together... Chelsea put it together, but if Rumi would put it together between talking with Gare. Of who um, this could be. You can make a history check. Okay. Yeah, some guidance on that. Uh, no, my, the roll's really good. Uh, and my history's good. 26. I mean, Rumi knows that, obviously, she has had multiple champions in the past. Yeah. Um, I don't believe she's ever told anyone any of their names. Not the name, no. Just Deliberately, that. yeah. Um, but yes, Rumi would know that there have been champions, obviously, before Gur. Before. Um, and and given everything you're seeing here, it seems very likely that that's who this is. And knowing what Stumpy is like and why this all started, that yeah. it would be a very vindictive thing to do. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rumi will go ahead and touch the pouch then. Okay. Oh, there are, as you go to do that, I will stop you. I just go, I've got a better idea. Hold on. And I will use Mage Hand to open the pouch and carefully Mage Hand out everything that is magical. Okay, there are only two things in the pouch. One is a potion, the other is a ring. Oh, what does the potion look like? Does it look like a healing potion or something it different? It does not look like a healing potion. You can make a Arcana check to see if you know if you recognize it. I cannot, because I rolled a five. Some sort of Very. potion, probably not healing. <laughs> um, yeah, the ring is like... That's going to take some work. Yeah. Throw it in a bag and carry on. Yep. yep. Okay. Before we get too far, Mara's going to say, who's hurt? I'm hurt. I'm pretty good. Uh, hurt I'm into gonna... hurt past. Uh... Um, yeah, I'm I'm down. Okay. Badly, badly I'm down. Use... Okay. Badly uh, down. Next, what's the question? Um, sixty-two out of one eight. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and both, I'm... Except... Mara will pull out a superior healing potion and hand it to her. No, 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 no. We can I have a boon. I have a boon. A uh, healing spirit. So there's like this little wispy angel thing. Okay. And uh, it can heal six times 1d6 plus 5. So, you know, who needs it, use it. <laughs> okay. Like that looks but it has to be done like now. So, okay. Thanks, Usa. Okay. Love that shield so training. Is it, is it 1d6 plus 5 every... every it does or... it 6 times. Every yeah. time, yes. Okay, so... The... Yeah. So it would Do be 6d6 plus 30 if you use all of them. Okay, so I use 1 right now for 10. Another 8. Three. Okay, well, what are the rest of you doing while while Zinri heals? Um, we're, we're pretty much done with this room, are we not? Just keeping an eye out while our friend comes back a little bit, and Alex will reiterate May we need to be real careful here. Yeah, well, I was going to have a good look at the key. Is there? A, I was going to look at the key. Is there a compass point on it? Yep. North. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sorry, you... I used them all. 
I used all the healing, <laughs> but I'm back to full. Yeah. Did you say that the skeleton turned to dust? No, just it collapsed into a pile of bones. Rumi's going to take one of the bones and put it in her bed. Okay. Any particular bone? Oh, it, it, did the skull stay intact? Yep. She'll take the skull. Okay. Whew, that's going to be a terrible conversation. <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> Is anyone else significantly hurt? Mara will also put a pull out one of her blankets and just place it over the skeleton. Okay. Remains. <laughs> but yeah. Actually, cool. no. Uh, screw it. Uh, it. It's a bag of holding. She puts the whole damn skeleton in. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you have the skeleton the of one of the previous yeah. champions of the Soul yeah. Queen. You can put that no. in your inventory. Yeah. yeah. The bones up in the blanket, blanket in the bag of holding. <laughs> okay. you, okay. you wouldn't want to leave a skeleton with these people. Yep. Mm. Alright. Fair. Okay. Yeah. So you then are leaving. I head out. Yep. Yep. Cool. You go back to the first thing. And we are going to take a break there. Because this is mm -hmm. taking a longer time than I anticipated. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I know, I know you guys have been so paranoid. It's great. Um, so, we're going to take a break. Uh, looks like you won yourself a friendly fireball there, Nick. Mm -hmm. I'll send you the info about that. Um, right. And yeah, we will be doing a giveaway. This is what I'm giving away. This is the deluxe version of the Wolfenood story. And since mm -hmm. we're back in Wolfenood season, I figured I would give one away. So, if you would like, to, it's very reflective. Shiny. Um, if you would like, for those of you who don't know, this is the story that my son wrote about Wolf and Newt and where it comes from, and we turned it into a book. It is beautifully illustrated um, by another one of our Wolf and Newt people, who at the time of doing the illustrations was only 13. Um, so, it's pretty cool. Uh, and this is the fancy hardcover version. So, if you would like to win a copy of that, hit no, don't hit anything. Join Adam for some marble races in the break, and we'll be back in 10, 15 minutes. Um, and, yeah, see where we go from here. See you soon. See you there. Get tea. Hello. And humans of the internet, sorry about that. We had a small case of blue screen, but it has been resolved. Hey, have I mentioned that we're trying to get Adam a new rig? This seems like a good time to mention that. <laughs> Hit the donate button to make that happen. <laughs> this is why what we I'm need hearing it. <laughs> we did confirm, which I think I find more enticing for donating, that the goose of the realm, uh, which is very much like the yes, uh, the goose of other lore. So yep, yep, mm -hmm. excellent. Okay, um, cool. Let's let's keep going. We we we. I, I don't know what, what, what we hadn't actually made any decisions yet when we got cut off, and I'm not sure which part of that conversation we got cut off. So how about you just tell me where you're going? Do south. <laughs> the what we considered to be now the south door, directly opposite right. when we were right. opposite, opposite where you are now. All right. Can I? Who's going through the door? Who's opening the door? Let's do that. Edith, why not? Edith, roll me a d8, please. Two. Roll it again, please. I'm allowed a one or two. <laughs> I would have made you go into the same door twice, but you now have a system to stop that happening, so... <laughs> we could oh, you're not going to believe this. Three! <laughs> I swear. Look at my D&D &D beyond. I believe you. That's fine. Before we Alrighty. step through, now we can roll Yep. Okay, <laughs> cool. Alright, so... You... I think it's oh, just a case of marking which ones you've been through, isn't it? I can. We can like not. I, all right. So I'll mark. I'll to shoot two. Make, a, make a pattern. Around, and I'll shoot one like off somewhere else where it. Okay. Doesn't... Somewhere far away, a griffin goes. Ah! <laughs> as long as they're not within 120 feet, it's fine. Okay. You find yourselves on another platform. This one has eight statues of mermaids on it um and they have 
kind of wafted between them a web of they kind of look like um rays of water mixed with lightning like you can see flashes of lightning in them um that are going between the mermaid's hands in this like weird crisscross configuration um as you enter mm -hmm. the mermaids all begin to sing i'm not going to sing but these are the words they sing four beings of water and lightning and storm of the ocean the salt and the spring to open the way their hearts must be warm if you dare read the words of the king we have it again four <laughs> beings of water and lightning and storm of the ocean the salt and the spring to open the way their hearts must be warm if you dare read the words of the king okay um mm -hmm. cool uh can i have a look around and what does my detect magic say um the mermaid this, this is a very magic place the mermaids all are have magic on them which again is probably enchantment i would okay. say um in the center where the main lines of of this like magical lightning energy um there's one of those like fountain font kind of things and a dome over it but this one is like lightning and it looks like one of those you know those those things you touch and they follow your hands except it would probably hurt um so i rolled a 22 do or... i see a perception specifically <laughs> yeah. to look for like does it look like there's a key in this room i mean you can't see a key from where you are Probably. Mm -hmm. does it look like like all the mermaid statues like are there holes where there a where a heart should be start there mm. do i see anything with my true sight true balls <laughs> true true seeing but yes i mean jessica True knows balls. he just doesn't remember <laughs> look uh, this is adam's fault we we know this truth it's... truth balls truth balls really beyond what you can see um what you can see is pretty much what there's no invisible creatures there's no um yeah All the water streams look like they eventually connect to each and every statue. Yes. So so the ones on the ground are just water. Those are just water. There's nothing mm -hmm. special about those. The ones the other ones are coming from the mermaid's hands. Mm -hmm. So the the like rays with the lightning in them are coming from the mermaid's hands as if they're casting something but it's like trapped in a moment in time. Can we do some kind of, like, I don't know, check to see if we can figure out if we get an idea of what they're casting, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> um, you could do an arcana check, I guess. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, you asked! <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's fair. I'll give you a hand with that, because Alex is detecting the magic, and it's like, ow, all, all the right. magic. There's a lot of magic. This is a very magic place. The vibe. The vibe is magic. What'd you get? Eleven. Seems to be some kind of lightning thing. Alright, well, you said water... Okay, what do people think about me? Can I do call lightning? Is it, like, would it be big enough to put a cloud in here? I mean, it's a platform. It's not a yes. room, it's a platform. So oh, okay. there's a sky above you, so yes. Why don't... Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Before we try lighting, why don't we try fire? Because it did say warm them up. So what if we shot it fire? Said Didn't it say warm the hearts? Well, it, it did. did. Yes, it did. So can we put... Can we... Can we cast some bonfires? Yeah. Fire in like the chest or, of well, I was thinking firebolt into maybe the water that's connecting them all. Yeah, like the dome. 
metal. Like, this is probably not a brute force thing. This, yeah, like this is a puzzle thing. Yeah, I can just imagine this water and lightning, and then adding fire, and it just becomes this huge thing going on. It's like, yeah, no, nope, no. Nope. Yeah, but like the water streams that is going through all of them. I'm wondering if we hit mm -hmm. one of the streams, and if we slowly warm it up, if it'll warm up all the statues. They're not all entirely connected. Oh, I suppose they are kind of... Twisty-twisty. Yeah, they're twisty-twisty around each other. Okay. They're not entirely connected. So the four main ones okay. are make like a cross, and then the others are just making lines across the cross, yeah. if that makes sense. Well, my reasoning for Call Lightning was water, lightning, and storm. And it is a storm that produces lightning and is stronger when it's raining. And I was thinking about just hitting the center bit right here. And it, the electricity could go through the water and warm, warm them up. That's just my idea. I'm okay with not doing things because I'm not smart. <laughs> um, <laughs> if if everyone's all right with it, Alex would like to like see if he can like go around and look at the front of these because we've got the we back can, of this. Can um, kind of get around. Well, you can if you can fly. Yeah, so... Again, this is a platform, right? Yeah, so you yeah. can get around the edges very easily. It's not so like there are walls. If Alex, like, very carefully moves around and, like, flies to, like, here, can he see mm -hmm. if anything's written on the front? <laughs> of the of mermaid. The, of the mermaid, yeah. Make a perception investigation. Investigation check, please. We'll follow him and also, do, and also have a look. That's being very helpful. 27. <laughs> nope, there's nothing written. Okay. I'll play that 27. They're singing the song and they continue to sing it over and over again. But... Is, okay. is there anything different that I can see about the front of this statue now that I'm closer? I mean, it's a really well made statue. Um. Can I see anything in the center of this thing? Uh, like Pillar. where her heart would be? Is that what you're looking for? Well, all right, that and like what's in this, the center pillar thing. Oh, oh it's okay. very similar to the, the cloud dome in the first one, but this one mm -hmm. is like a lightning dome over the. So it's a font and then a lightning dome and there's lightning inside it so that you it's kind of obscuring what's inside the ball. Mm. Um, is there a hole where the mermaid's heart should be? No. Lightning in the middle. Let's say we do that. Let's try that. All right, so Alex will move out the way. Yeah. <laughs> Alex is going to try get around if he wasn't, if we were going to do lightning. <laughs> Well, I'd say we could try the firebolt thing first because I'm pretty sure firebolt is a cantrip. It is a cantrip. It's warming yes. the heart. So, like, Let's... we could save a spell slot. <laughs> yeah. That's... All right. Okay. Um, do we want to target the middle then? Is that what we want to do? Is target this thing? Here? Try that first. All right. Rumi will shoot a firebolt at the middle. Roll me a d20. Just a straight d20. 18. This dice really likes 18. It bounces Yay. off into the sky. Hmm. Okay. I feel like it may not be penetrable by... Oh. Guys, I've got a we... really dumb idea. Why don't I just give it a hug? Mm -hmm. Go for it, bud. Statue just needs a hug. I'm just gonna, like... Walk out. Uh, do you, do you perhaps want to like to touch it <laughs> something, not your flesh first, to make sure it's not like electrified. Am I get, am I getting any like I'm not getting any magic off the statue, am I? She's not magic. The statues are absolutely magic. Okay. <laughs> Enchantment. I said that at the start. Cool. <laughs> I remember stuff because Max, but no, Max, an idiot. Um, I'm just gonna go, hey, do you mind if I, like, give you a hug? But I'm just gonna touch you first to make sure you don't electrocute me. 
assume there's nothing from the statue. Are, are you touching it? And then I'm going to, like, very carefully reach out and put just, like, one finger on it so if it electrocutes me, I go backwards, not... You get like a tiny little static shock, you know, like when you touch your car and it's one of those days. So you take two points of lightning damage from the static shot. Um, but the mermaid turns her head and looks at you and just keeps singing. Oh. Okay, what if we that's, firebolt one of them? That's real weird, right? That doesn't sound like a good idea. That's like... not going to warm anybody's heart. That's going to make them oh. mad. What if we sing like to them? Mara moves back forward and then parks a bonfire right in front of this mermaid. Okay. It's not letting me ping, but yeah. <laughs> like here? It's going to be enormous. Sorry, I'll make it small. <laughs> Meow! Like there? Yes. She kind of turns it's, and look, looks at you. It's not causing damage, it's just warming. No. Yeah. <laughs> Edith is going to go up to that statue and she's going to tell the story of how her husband proposed to her. Make a performance check. I'm using Twitch inspiration so I can reroll that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which did nothing. Uh, this is it. Oh. The no. mermaid doesn't even look at you. <laughs> okay. Mara, um, make a perception check for me, please. Perception? Yeah. Please. Okay. you don't kill me. 21. Um, you notice that this mermaid's the color of her scales on her her tail are starting to kind of gradually change from that stone gray to a more iridescenty, almost yellowish, like it's heading towards orange or red. I will kind of elbow Alex and just point. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Edith wow. is still telling her story about you know very and long. Me, apparently. <laughs> Yeah. Um, can I can I go to the same mermaid and I'm going to pull out the bag of chocolate coins that I bought from Strat and offer the mermaid a chocolate. The, the same one that is that has the fire. Yes. Make a persuasion check. Oh yes, charisma. <laughs> You said I persuasion? I did. Oh, um, I used my manners. I'm going to tell her that it is a, a sweet thing for a very pretty mermaid. Is that using my manners? Oh. <laughs> Doesn't matter. The first roll is really good. Uh, 26. She turns to you and just opens her mouth. Her hands are kind of busy right now. Oh, okay. I will unwrap the gold coin and put it in her mouth. Cool. She closes it. You wait a moment, and her whole body changes color to look more lifelike. She doesn't actually move. She's still a statue, but she is now colored, um, and she drops her lightning. So this one, I can't make it go away. It's part of the map, but this one no longer has lightning on it. I'll do a... I'll just do a little, like... That's a terrible color. Hang on. <laughs> all right. That's all right. Cool. Um, picnic basket. This one is gone. <laughs> Does that help you know? Yeah. Uh, I'm Mara just going to take it out. So I have to do the picnic basket and see, like, something that thing? was, like, Alex's, like, favorite food. So what is the most, like, indulgent thing in the picnic basket? He's going to, like, pull that out. There are some cake slices of cookies. Um, we did, she's not got anything too, too indulgent because that tends to get damaged when it um, gets moved right. around too much. There's so cookies. There's cake, Alex loves cookies. cookies. Okay. Okay. Which mermaid are you going to, Alex? Uh, 
the one up the top over here. Okay. Now, um, that stream of stuff, like, I assume I can just, like, fly over it? Yeah, that's pretty normal water. Cool. Oh, or do you mean the lightning stream? Yeah, the lightning Yeah, if you go over stream. the top, you're fine. Yeah. Um, and I'll, like, introduce myself to the statue and, like, make some small talk and then offer them a cookie as, and explain <laughs> how I really like these things and they'd, like... Make a persuasion check. I don't think it really matters because I just rolled a natural twenty. Excellent. And Alex is persuasive as shit. Yeah, he is. All right. That's so, so same 20. thing. The mermaid kind of turns and opens her mouth, like, "Give me this cookie." Her hands are busy. She can't do that. Yep. But... And I will delicately place a cookie in her mouth and say, "Please, I hope you really enjoy this." Cool. She drops her lightning thing. Uh, and also changes color in the same way. So this one. I'm assuming this one still has something going on. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so Zakela's just gonna talk about her wonderful life. Okay. And how, Make how a much she loves performance her. check. Okay. To see okay. how well you can transmit your feelings. Eighteen. Oh, very good. You watch as a single tear falls down the mermaid's face. And where it goes, you see like the the blue slate gray of the stone washing away, and gradually. Her whole body goes into color, and this one is also gone. Question. Um, yes? When these turn back into being more mermaids, they're still singing, right? But do they look actually alive? Like they no, were... they're, they're still statues, but it's like they're in full color now. Okay. Instead of, yeah. So they look like they're magically created not correct petrified mermaids yes. Yes, cool correct. cool alex yep. is much more chill now yeah constructs not actual mermaids yep uh i'll go to this statue right here take out another gold coin and i will tell this lovely lady that she seems to be working very hard and i would like to offer her a treat uh for all her good work Persuasion check, please. No, oh, that's not nearly as good. Um, oh, still plus seven. Okay, uh, 18. Yep, that's good enough. This one drops. Mermaid turns into proper mermaid look, colors. Sinri is at the end. She will tell us about siblings. How fabulous they are, and how she will see them one day. And she will take out a bouquet of fake flowers that she got from and off her. Okay, make a. I'm going to say performance because of the, the story about your family. Eighteen. Um, the mermaid can't take the flowers because her hands No, are I know. I'll currently... place them, like, in front of okay. her. Okay, like, no. cool. I'm like, she's not going to try and eat the flowers. Uh, no, no, But no, yes, no. That, that does the trick. You managed to convince her to drop her lightning. Edith will travel over to the one that she's nearest mm -hmm. and tell another story about, um, you know, how her, her best friend Alex saved her from an evil necklace. Aw. Performance check. Please. I was so close. To seven. Oh. <laughs> I did not eat a strong suit. <laughs> no. The mermaid does not react to your story. <laughs> Alex will <laughs> go over to this one uh, mm -hmm. up the top and um tell them about the uh, water guy that we freed in this, the reef. Oh, and yeah. how um, it, like Alex felt like it was a very important thing to not be fighting things and that all these peaceful solutions to return people to where they belong is important and they seem to maybe this isn't the place that they should be in and 
offer any assistance to return them to where they should be. Persuasion. I'll let you have your persuasion. <laughs> like, you don't know that they're not where they should be. <laughs> no. No, Alex doesn't. I rolled an 8, but it is a dirty 20. Because <laughs> Alex is That's... broke. Yep. Yep. That, that mermaid. Wow. It takes a while. She seems slightly confused by your suggestion that this isn't where she's supposed to be, but she, she appreciates the gesture and feels warmed by it. Uh... Alex is very used to the expression of, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Pulls out a stroop waffle and tells Big Mermaid over here mm -hmm. um, that she's been saving these for someone very, very special. And seeing as how this, is such, um, this mermaid's doing such an important job, she thinks that she deserves it. Mm -hmm. uh, make a persuasion check. With guidance, since I'm there. With uh, guidance is a 4 D4. D4. Yeah. Seventeen. Yep. That's the trick. We've got one mermaid left. Okay. Uh, so Zinkela's gonna talk about Pesnik and Morin falling in love in their wedding. Uh, oh. Uh. Make a performance check to see how well yeah, you tell I'm the story. Use, I'm gonna use my Twitch inspiration though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's so much better. That's a 17. Okay, you tell a riveting, awesome tale, and that one also drops. So all these, like, rays of lightning and water drop out of and just dissipate. And in the center, you see this lightning dome that they've been maintaining just and then dissipate as well. And it is just a font of water. Right, so um, go. I was going to go up to it and look inside. Hovering above, just looking in. There is something that looks like an envelope in the base of it. Yeah. Uh, how far down does it look? Like... <laughs> oh, Alex is <laughs> going to... Um, with everybody's hand. permission, pop out Mage Hand reach in, mage hand it out. Cool. It is, interestingly, yeah. completely untouched by the water. It's not even wet. Oh, magic... Uh, Alex was assuming it was weird magic juju water yeah. and didn't no, want it, to it's it. Normal water. Um, it is an envelope and on the front of it, it just says for the Summer Queen in very elegant, oh, fancy, no. curlicue writing. Oh, yeah. oh, this hey. is from him. It's from Dumpy. Uh, we should deliver this, but I don't want to. I also agree on that. I don't know if it could be traced. Yeah. Uh, all right. We open it. Is that a fake no, no, we do not open no, this. No. No. Out of no. character. A bag of holding is like a little pocket dimension. Things can't be That's traced correct. in one. That is correct. Mm. Yeah. So I'm going to go... Okay, I think we should put this in a bag of holding. I think yeah, we should put it in a different bag of holding than mine. I'll take it. Uh, mm, I've got the bones. No, not mine. I'll do it. Oh, okay. Okay, I will, like, carry it over with the mage hand, and I will put it in your bag of holding. <laughs> Wait, what okay. happens if it comes out of the bag of holding? Is it going to explode or something? We're concerned that it could be traced, so then yeah. he could find the realm. So why are we taking it with us? Because it's specifically addressed, and if we, we've we broken this, so somebody's going to know, and yeah. if we don't take it, then somebody's going to know, but if we do that's take thing... it, it could be a problem. So that that's a good point. We've broken it, someone's going to know, we need to speed this up. We need to go faster. We need yeah. to go faster. All right, so... let's go. Put oh, it in. Yeah. Let's go. We just need to go. Zinkela, when we get back to the throne room, you just need to give the lady your whole bag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Can you feel the envelope? Nothing else important to me. No key inside of it, though, first? No, Like, her, it's just a letter and not, like, nothing inside? It's a seal. Yeah. I mean, we could probably see that, right? We would be able to see that from the thickness. Yeah, it, of was, it was pretty. It was a pretty hefty envelope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I will touch it. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll touch Did it. Did you magic? Oh, like I had. I mean, I have magic up all the time. I have it, true, it was, true eyeballs. It wasn't magic. It, it's not it's X-ray really though. Old. Yeah, Zinkayla will just put her hand in the bag, think of the letter, and then touch it and fill if make it a... has anything in it other than a letter. Make a perception check. Okay. <laughs> like... You got it. Got it. <laughs> Alex I'm is gonna... paranoid. Like... Perception, you said? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah, cool. I'm also going to guidance myself for this. <laughs> so, 1730. That there's definitely no. no key in this. 28. Okay. No, no key. Yeah. All right. Just a letter. Hey, we need to go. We need to go. So, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Let's we move. Step back out. Cool. You're back yes. here. Ah, come on. Spinny, 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 spinny. See, this is my turn. Where's that ginger? <laughs> Where's that ginger? <laughs> you don't spin. I, the door I spins. I just want to cookies. <laughs> Sorry. Now, now we'll hand out gingerbread cookies. Yeah. There's Five. also ginger muffins. Five. <laughs> cool. All right. You go through another door. And you find yourself on a platform. Mm -hmm. You are on the edge of a, like a physical stone platform. Um, You can see two more of these away from you. Between you and extending out is... It's like a vortex of air. The air is moving extremely quickly in like channels up and down. You get the distinct impression that if you stepped out into this, you would be blown away either towards the ground or towards the sky. Um, okay. On each of the two platforms, there is a chest. Mm -hmm. Which Anybody? chest looks like the one that was in the... They're uh... exactly the same. Oh, they're both. Okay. Yeah, I know they don't look the same, but that's because I had to fake it on the map. But they're, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're exactly fine. the same. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Okay. Okay. Oh. So I'm gonna no, pull that, out. That, it's not the best plan, Chris. So I have I have an idea. Um, I can cast Conjure Woodland Beans, and I can make Pixies pop up on the parallel thing, not Pixie Sprites. Which are these little fly things? Oh. I think I can also do pixies. I have a way of getting there. I just can't get back. Oh, I do have a way of getting back. Is are we in bright light, dim light? What are? Is it like pretty light? Pretty bright. We have dark vision. Um, yeah. Are are these ledges as far as? Yeah. Sure. Okay. I could if it is locked unlock this one here magically i can From get where we are standing the far one and i can get back well my suggestion with the pixies is they can mm -hmm. talk to us and they can open it and they can do right, that yeah. stuff yeah. and we don't have to worry about one person going over there and not being able to get back i i do enjoy right. that yeah. Let, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. And if we need to go there, I can get there and I can get back. Okay. So, because I don't think a pixie would be able to carry one of those keys and we wouldn't want to risk it. Yes? Right. Right. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, instead, just because I want to make sure they're able to open it, uh, I can do satyrs and they can just pop up and they can actually open it. But they can get so. back, right? Yeah, but I figured, you know, maybe Poofy Boy uh, could get whatever we needed. <laughs> is that Alex you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, Alex is just yeah, a shoe. <laughs> Poofy Boy. 
The super hot red, t red tiefling that can go poofy. <laughs> I forgot all the fake work. names. Wait, I might- I actually <laughs> might have an even better- wow. I'm up for ideas. I what if you do something? I, I can summon the celestial, but I don't know if we can fly through the- the air thingy. It might have the same issue as us. Okay, just so- just so you know, what this I... would be what I would have to do. And Alex will, like, reach under his armor and pull out his, um, ta talisman. So, at the, while he's hanging on to it, it looks like a rose front on with a butterfly with its wing spread on it. I'm like, I have to give you one of the one of you this. You hang on to this. Edith slaps me in the face, and I jump to that spot next to the um, far away chest. I can then pick up whatever's in it, and as long as you do not move, I can go straight back to this. I don't have to fly across. Nothing. Could you pick up the whole chest? Uh, depends how heavy it is. I thought that's strong. But yeah, I could. If you do the far one, and you can pick up the whole chest, that might be best. I can I can bless you if that will help. It doesn't matter. I can just do it. Yeah, but opening that chest part. Not if I we mean, have it over here. Provided it doesn't explode when I pick it up. Fair. I mean, we could combine the two ideas and just have the yeah. things open it first. Which is what and I then... think is a better idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. right. So that's what we're doing? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, so conjure woodland beans. Oh, what, what is... There's one half, so I can do two on each platform. Okay. Oh, do I not have arrow to satyrs? Hang on. J Jax is like, look at us going, you shifty bastards. I love yeah. it. I love it. I absolutely love it when you come up with plans I didn't think of. All right, so there's one. There's two. The to answer all the riddles and everything. There's so, yeah. three. There's four. So, mm -hmm. I'm just going to tell them to open up the boxes. Cool. Is that what we want? Mm-hmm. And yeah. you ask yeah. them to uh, check the traps first and then open it? Yeah. I'm I'll, not worried about uh, it. I mean, <laughs> you can make your satyrs make investigation checks, I guess? Okay, well, let me look up their stat block. <laughs> 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 I'll go ahead and just pre-roll. Nobody, nobody then... plans on Seder. <laughs> no, nobody yeah. ever expects the Seder. I use no, it. Yeah. I use it for Rufus's. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, what would the Rufus's don't have opposable thumbs? Right. Investigation, yes. Uh, uh, well, they only have a plus to perception. What is it? Investigation is intelligence. So it would be, okay. it would be plus their intelligence modifier. Because presumably they're not proficient in that. 18 on level and 11 for this group up here. Come on, come on. Uh, yeah, the top group. The yeah. north yeah. group. Yep. It's not like the meeting either. 18 and 11 for the other group. Alright. Um, they do not notice any traps. Okay. So they're gonna open it? Cool. These guys down here open the chest and there is quite clearly a key in the bottom of the chest and nothing else. This guy goes to open this chest and it immediately grows a mouth. Oh, of course. <laughs> I knew it came to the minute that could have happened. This is my first minute. When you did it earlier, I was like, ha ha, it's not here. <laughs> this is also bigger than your average mimic. Um, it's going to yeah. attack your satyrs twice. Um, okay. That's a 24 and a 12. The 12 doesn't hit. <laughs> cool. Um, so one of them is now stuck to it and is going to take some damage. 
I don't know how many hit points your satyrs have. A whopping five points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, they're so good. And then he's gonna try to bite it. That's a dirty 20. Yeah. So he takes another 10 points of piercing damage. He's looking a little rough, but he's good. <laughs> and another 4 points of acid damage. Oh, he's still good. He's still alive. He's still alive. Cool. Cool. Do they, do they want to fight back or are you just going to bamf them? I don't know how you want to deal with this. Uh, you know, they could, they could fight back, I guess. <laughs> I mean, yeah, do we want to? Do you want to spend the time doing well, that? Yeah, I mean, I, I figured they could be as a distraction for him to jump over there. So, so we'll hand yeah. wave the mimic thing. The mimics yeah. and the satyrs will fight in this on the sidelines. The other satyrs, however, yeah. are like, hey, there's a key here. So, <laughs> um, I'm gonna go to Edith and go, hey, Edith, this is gonna sound yeah, really honey. weird. I need you to slap me in the face. Slap me in the face like you mean it. She does it. <laughs> As Make it an attack she roll. Just pops you one. Make an attack uh, roll. Alright. Who's holding the medallion? Oh. I, but, good point. First, I will give my medallion to somebody. <laughs> yeah. Who are you giving it to? Yeah, I'll give it to Mara. At the moment I put it in Mara's hands, it looks like it, like, shifts. So rather than the rose being front on, it looks like it turns sideways. And rather than the uh, butterfly with its wings open, its wings are closed. It's like this weird thing to look at. You're making an unarmed uh, attack, Edith. Okay, 16 then in that case. The 16. Uh, I'm like, no, you... no, 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 you've got to, like, you got to mean it. Do it again. 16 missed, apparently. Yeah, I've got an AC of 21. <laughs> Six. Oh. I'm like, okay, hold on, Edith, honey. I love what you're doing, but did Mara come over here? Mara, Mara hands the medallion to Edith, <laughs> then turns around and wallops. Oh. An attack roll. This is an unarmed strike. So whatever your yep. stats are for that. Uh, twenty. Sorry, you've got to reach. <laughs> Twenty-eight. No. <laughs> so roll damage, please. Five, roll damage. Five points. <laughs> I take five points of damage, and I am there. I can teleport sixty feet away, which puts me right at the edge. Yep. Of this. Can you make so, a dex check for me? Because you are right on the edge. I'm also still on my broom. Yep. Uh, but uh, that uh. wind is very quick. Fair. And it is right behind you. We're not. We're talking about like full-on hurricane winds. Uh, eighteen. <laughs> okay. Yep. That's fine. You like teeter for a second, and you can feel the wind like sucking at your body, like it's trying to pull you away, and then you manage to <laughs> fall forward out of it. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I know. I will look. So my detect magic's up. I assume the key's magic. Is there anything key is magic, else? In yep. here? Nope. Cool. Just the key. And reach in and grab the key. Okay. I assume I don't feel any like change no. in myself. No. Cool. And I'll go. Okay. Could you just uh, clean me some space next to Mara for me? Uh, Edith's got it now. Edith's oh, got it now. Next to yeah. Edith for me. Okay. And I will teleport straight back right next to Edith. Because cool. as long as we're on the same plane of existence, I can yep. teleport to them. Sweet. Perfect. Problem All solved. Right. Nice work. Way to bypass the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, you, you might want to hang on to that just in case we need to do something like that again and you can come to me. The satyrs and the mimics, mimic are still like yeah, fighting. Right as we the fun, guys. go through the door, I, get, I just dismiss them. Okay. <laughs> and the mimic's like, chomp, chomp. Ah, damn it. <laughs> cool. Alright, we're out of there. Yep, yep. you're back here. Two keys. So you now have two keys. This one Which has the west wind on it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Alright, okay. so... Next one along. So we've marked that door with the two. I assume everything spins. Yeah. Yes. Spin, spin. Mm -hmm. Stop, stop. 
Second the person's name is the first. Yeah, the door we're standing in front of doesn't have any marks on it. Next on the ground next to it. Oh, after the spinning. Yeah. Uh -huh. Roll me a d20. Eleven. Yeah, it has a mark. Cool. <laughs> next one. Right, guys, let's pick another door. Let's go to the next one. All right. Okay, who's opening this one? I will. Zinri, roll me a d8, please. Oh, that's a five, so... Yeah. Roll another one. <laughs> uh, seven. Seven. <laughs> cool. God. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. You walk through the door, and you find oh. yourself in a chamber that is quite clearly themed as autumn. Chamber, not chamber. Oh. Platform. Oh. Platform. It's all platforms. There is hay. There are, like, crates and barrels and like things of full perfectly ripe fruit sitting on, on them bales of hay there are a couple of scarecrows standing out of the the hay bales there are pumpkins on the ground there's a beautiful little pond with barrels it, it it smells like that beautiful autumn smell that smell of plenty and change and things changing it's everything that's good about autumn is this will immediately say do not eat anything no. You enter. Also, the scarecrows turn. Detect magic. Look at you and go, hey! One of them goes, hey, Bill, check it out. We got visitors. And the other one goes, hey, Eddie, that's amazing. It's been like so long. Like so long. Like maybe <laughs> at least five days. And Bill goes, bro, it's been so much more than five days. Closer to five months. And they both go, who are you guys? It's so good to see. Apparently, these are Bill and Ted. These scarecrows are Bill and Ted. Sorry about that. I didn't plan it that way. That is what has happened in my brain. <laughs> Alex will... In fact, I'm renaming the other one Ted. They are, in fact, called Bill and Ted. <laughs> Alex is straight away like, okay, these things could start messing with minds. Takes a step forward and goes, what's up, guys? Look, we're looking for a key. You guys got a key? Have you seen a key, Ted? Nah, Bill, I haven't seen a key. Have you seen a key, Bill? No, I haven't seen a key, Ted. Have you seen a key? What's your name, bro? It's bro, bro. Oh. Well, well bro, have you seen a key? I ain't seen a key. I'm looking for a key. <laughs> and I'm going to, like, with my, uh, like, when he drops his hand, Alex is going to be, like, do we, like, gesturing, like, do we just leave? Like, this is, <laughs> like, do we just... Walk out. Are these like things in here giving off Feywild Autumn or just regular Autumn? Like, no. It's pretty Fey. It's pretty okay. Fey. Yeah. Yeah. This is. But in a good from... way. It's like everything about this is the most wholesome wonderfulness that you could possibly associate with Autumn. It's like warm. Right now, it's that like late, but... early autumn warmth in the air with just a hint yeah. of winter coming. You know, like it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. Right now, Zinri Mara's is trying like... really hard not to go hella. <laughs> yeah, right? I just want to, like, smash pumpkins and, you know, and burn it all to the ground. Mara's got it. bonfire. Mara can just do bonfires everywhere if she needs to. <laughs> <laughs> Rumi <laughs> will fire, Scarecrow. <laughs> say out loud. <laughs> oh, that's too bad that you don't know where a key is because, you know... We could make a deal if you knew where it was in here. A deal? Maybe they've got pumpkin spice lattes, Ted. I don't think so, Bill. Don't think those exist here. Oh. We don't know where the key is, though, sorry. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Alex is just totally these... fine with that. Just... Yeah, I don't know. Can... these scarecrows? <laughs> Oh, it's like the scarecrows. <laughs> to see if they're really that dumb or if they're like just trying to keep us here. Dirty. Hey guys, we'll come back. We're looking for a key. You get Jen? 30. They seem to be telling the truth. They seem really like they, they just don't know very much. Just you get the vibe Hello. that they actually are this dumb. They, they do okay. not know if there is a key here and if so, what it, yeah, where, where it might be fine. 
It's not something I ever thought I would say inside the scarecrow. <laughs> the dragons, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Nothing like candy. All right. Let's just let's just find another door. I don't like this. Does anything look leave. out of place? How do you mean by out of place? Anything that doesn't look right in this scene, anything that doesn't look quite fall. Make a I guess perception. Is seventeen. Um, it's it's a pretty perfect rendition of a perfect fall scene. Okay. It's there's nothing obviously. Out of strange. place. Yeah, it it's very I, much I just like it. just a perfect epitome of everything that is good about autumn and the autumn experience. I'm assuming there's no illusions, or Edith would have seen that. No. No. Okay. I don't trust it. We need to leave. It's too nice yeah. and it's too yeah. too unsafe. Yeah, let's go. It's yeah. all unsafe. But if the group this wants to leave, we can go. My favorite we... reaction. <laughs> we can come back. Yeah. Nope, uh, out of this one. Yep, nope, nope. out of this yep. one. Mara will step out first when we go and put a cat, put a bonfire just next to the doorway. So yeah. if we do want to go back, it's marked outside okay. the doorway. Okay. Okay, I just need to check a thing. It's concentration though, right? So if you get hit or if anything like that, it'll leave a smolder mark if nothing else to, um, next okay. to the side. So, yeah, that's true. I suppose if it does go out, I'm just like if if air can put it out, then the spinning is going to put it out. Mm. Yeah, smolder mark then. <laughs> We'll have some right. sort of mark to say okay. which one it is that we've not done nothing. So, so you're noping out of the autumn. Mm -hmm. experience. Cool, I cool. assume there was yep. nothing in Alex's detect magic that popped as soon as we walked in, other than Well, the, scare the scarecrows are clearly magical constructs of some kind. Um, but no, there was no other obvious. Sure. No, we would have been there for three hours just trying to get them to listen to us and focus on the question, I feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Edith okay. has dealt with dude bros before. Look, I, <laughs> trust me, I know. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Next. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next one along. Rope door? We haven't gone to rope door. I don't think you have gone to rope door. No, nope. we haven't. We have yep. not. All right. Who's opening rope door? Uh, I can. Roll me a d8, please. Eight. Ooh. Eight. Okay. So. You find yourselves on a platform. There are three statues at the far end. One of a woman with a bow and arrow. One of someone who looks very much like a sorcerer. Or a magic user of some sort. And one of a tall, well-built fighter kind of figure with a gigantic battle axe. Um, in the center of the floor, there is a like glowing tree. And you can see immediately when you look at it that on um, that in the tree, inlaid into the tree, is a key. Mm -hmm. Um, and these runes look like the ones from that very first room, where like the I mean, left kind of like... similar style, but uh -huh. but yeah, not yeah, yeah, not necessarily the same. Do the oh, statues... audios work? Do the statues look like any prominent figures from? History, anybody we would know Can about. Make a history tech. It's really good. Uh, 25 again. <laughs> I, really like, I, I really like that number, apparently. And history. I'm trying to think if it's, there's any way you would know who these people are. Yeah. I would say. Any of them elvish? Let me ask you a question. Did you okay. ever read the book in the library about fae history? Is that a book you uh, read? It is not, no. Has anyone here read it? I... <laughs> Make a history check, Alex. The, that's the book that gives you, like, advantage on fae. With advantage, because, yeah. Yeah, Alex, that was, like, the first book Alex read in the library. 
Because he's out. That Zinkela just knows general, like Fey stuff. Uh, you said history, this, yeah. This is very the specific. The Fey. Okay. The walls yeah. of the Fey. That one. Hold up. Uh, modified tw what does uh, it... twenty-two. What does it give you? You I've would know history. that Oberon <laughs> has a champion, much like Titania does, but he also has a royal guard, and his royal guard traditionally consists of a ranger, a spellcaster, and a fighter or a barbarian. So a tank, a magic person, and a ranger. That is something you would know from reading that book. Alex will literally look at and just do this. <laughs> okay. So... Guys... I think... You know how there's Gur and uh, the opposite number, in this case of three, just, do, yeah, mm -hmm. I think, not sure. He's but made of stunned in stone? Mmm, <laughs> don't, don't know, don't, mm, but... Do not, no, we do not want to start any sort of conflict here. This will go terribly for us. Very careful. Super okay. careful. It's been puzzles every time. Hmm? Let's, uh, let's go up and inspect the statues. Um, and Alex, as he, he like, his detect magic will go off as he gets walks around and like yeah, carefully like says like gestures to walk around the thing in the middle well we can fly oh, i'll be flying over it anyway like flying around okay as you cross the center of the room you watch as out of these enormous statues because they're big they're way bigger <laughs> than person size you watch as out of the base you see a door open and out of each one steps a person oh just did that my dog got extremely concerned that something is very wrong <laughs> oh. hey. I need you all to roll initiative I will accept that as an initiative roll so, cool, 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 anyone cool. over 25 I rolled 25. Anyone else? I just rolled I 25, 25, it finally. Well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So, Zinkeda, Alex, and Edith all rolled 25. Is that what I'm getting? I rolled no. in that 20, so... Who's got the Dexia sticks? Five. Edith, what's your dex? Six. Six. <laughs> six. Z, what's your dex? The number or the... Uh, the, the modifier. Bonus. The modifier. The modifier is two. Okay, so Edith, Alex, Zinkela. Anyone over 20? Anyone over 15? 19? Who are you, Zinri? <laughs> I was about to write Rianne, and I was like, nope. I know, I know, I, know. I do that too. Like, Anyone else? Wait. Mara, what you got? Eight. Rumi? Zero. Zero! I wrote the that one, and I have a negative one. Wow, oh, okay. wow. Cool. Okay, cool, cool. Edith. Uh, Rumi. Edith, <laughs> you watch as these three figures step out. They look imposing. They are all dressed in oranges and reds and yellows and browns. They are in the colors of autumn. Um, all of them have an insignia on their chest that is an oak leaf. Um, yep. the, the ranger is immediately knocked, um, like, ready to shoot. What do you want to do? Edith is going to um, try and use the uh, the boon that she has, the uh, Bavlorna, to allow a parlay. Yep. Okay. Um, and basically give a very deep bow and say, you know, oh, our apologies. We certainly did not mean to disturb you. So that is persuasion versus insight, as I recall. 
Is that correct? I think I think so. I know I, I just made that. it this morning, but <laughs> well, <laughs> yesterday, whatever it was. And I haven't used it yet either. That one yet. I didn't get that one. It's not arrived. <laughs> so, yeah, it stops combat for one round, gives you an opportunity to talk your way out, make a persuasion check against the opposition's insight. Um, okay. If possible, I don't know if it stacks, but I have another boon that allows me to get advantage on persuasion as long yep. as you ask politely. Yep, I'll allow so it. So I would like... Okay, yep. great. And you Yay. did. You were polite, so... All right. Yeah, because that's a passive. Mm -hmm. It makes Alex super dangerous. So the better roll is 23. Okay. So the sorcerer and the barbarian stop. The ranger does not. So essentially what this means is that the sorcerer and the barbarian will not act in the first round. But the ranger seems unmoved by your situation. Edith is not going to attempt to attack, so I will hold any further action until other shit goes down. As as a, I know it's a brand new boon, um, so but Edith would know that if they are attacked, they will retaliate. Oh, then she would oh. probably say, "Okay, no, what nobody's attacking, right?" And you know, try to convince everyone or at least communicate yeah. to her squad like, like basically you have them down, held down. for a round to convince them not to attack you if that's what you want to do but if if they are attacked then they yeah will retaliate and you don't know where the initiative order they are so got it yeah well she'll okay. at least whatever she can say in the short amount of time yep. she can to her colleagues cool alex what are you doing I am now conflicted because <laughs> Alex is, doesn't want to fight these people, but clearly they're going to start a fight. And it means Alex wants them in the ground first. Um, so the barbarian's off to the... The barbarian's the one right? with the big hammer. Yep. And yeah. directly front and center is the um, spellcaster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. God damn it! Do I test this? I really want to test this. What are you doing? Make a decision. Um, <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Let's go big, man. Um. I was just gonna look at Edith and say, look, I'm kind of sorry about this, but we've, we're going to have to do something and cast um, Synaptic Static on the um, Sorcerer. Okay. So, centered on them, it's centered like right in front of where they are, a 20-foot sphere, hmm. and they need to... Intelligence, I think? Yeah, it's an int save. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so 21 is the save you got to reach. Intelligence save. I rolled a 20, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool, so I need to roll 8d6. So come over here, phone, because I don't have 8d6, because I don't <laughs> need them. Bomba's and... favorite spell. I hate mm -hmm. it. <laughs> I love this spell. It's so good. Alex hates using it. That gives yes, them like a, a, ne a negative something to all their attacks or something, yep. right? So they take 32 psychic damage. Ooh, ouch. Okay. And for one minute, um, they take a negative uh, 1d6 uh, from attack rolls and mm -hmm. ability checks, mm -hmm. as well as constitution saving throws to maintain concentration. Yep. Okay. Uh, at Ooh. the end of the turn, its turn, it can make an uh, intelligence saving throw again for yep. uh, DC 21 to remove that effect. Cool. 
Um, and then I will bonus action cast um, Hex on the um, Barbarian. Okay. Is that a save? Ah, uh, no, it's just a thing. It just happens, okay. <laughs> cool. That's you? Yep. It's in Kayla. I just... Is it visible that he attacked, like, that you did damage to the sorcerer? Yeah. I would say you would have seen his <laughs> nose is like, bleeding from 30 And there's like of... a... You would have seen like a 20-foot sphere of just like crackling psychic brain damage go straight yeah. into this sorcerer. Is that something that leaves like a... Is it up or is it gone? The 20-foot... double like, is check. Is it instantaneous or is it... I'm pretty sure last... it's just a thing. It's just a one-off okay. thing. Okay. So you, you can I can theoretically capture more than one person in it. Gotcha. So dumb. Sorry, carry on. You may ignore me. Uh <laughs> Okay. Well Shit. <laughs> I was prepared not to attack. Um Uh, you know. Alex this got told no right? negotiations. <laughs> Alex doesn't negotiate with terrorists, so they're going in the ground. <laughs> he specifically got told, do not talk to these people. This is a uh, platform, right? Like, we have open air yes. cloud yes. business? Correct. Cool. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to cast Call Lightning at 4th level. Okay. Then just bring it down on the guy he attacked uh, okay dexterity save 22 is the dc is is the saves also with the negative thing uh, is it just attacks I believe so and, and ability checks so it doesn't nice. uh, only constitution saves okay so that's a dirty 20. So he doesn't Fails. save, so he no. takes 30 lightning Oof. damage. My mate! Okay, what else you got? Uh, then, uh... Oh, let me see how far away... Uh, well, then Kayla would move up. Oh, wait, no, well, then Kayla, as a bonus action, is gonna turn into an air elemental. Okay, please hold for air elemental. I have one of those. Please hold for elementals. If you're after an earth elemental, press one. Water <laughs> elemental, press two. Fire elemental, press three. Air elemental, press B. There you go. You have an air elemental. Cool. Can you just put her... I can just move it. You should be mind. able to move it now, I think. Yeah. She has 90 feet of movement, but she's cool. going to stop there. All right, that's you. Yep. It is now my buddy the sorcerer's turn. You know what he's gonna do? He's gonna take a leaf out of Alex's book and cast Synaptic Static right here, where you're all nicely bunched together. Count the spell, fifth level. All right. In that case, he's gonna use a cantrip. And cast infestation on you, Alex. I mean, it's fair. <laughs> I don't know what that does, but it's fair. <laughs> Alex is gone. This <laughs> guy's really pissed him right off. He's, he's I need you to yeah, make for maybe itchy. a constitution saving throw, please. Oh, that's bad. Oh, shit. I rolled well. Um, <laughs> 20 modified. Okay, just save, so you don't take any damage, but it pushes you five feet in a random direction. So, roll a d4. One. Cool. You you bash into Rumi. <laughs> Sorry! You also feel, you feel like you're covered in insects right now. It's pretty, it's pretty horrible. But you're not taking yeah. damage, but it's uncomfortable. Um, that's him. 
The barbarian, I guess, is going to attack the air elemental. Not the brightest bulb on the Christmas tree. Well, he's not that dumb. Anyway, he's, he's going to do it. Uh, with his battle axe. Nope, first he's going to rage. I know how to play a barbarian. He's going <laughs> to rage. Then he's going to attack the air elemental with his battle axe. That's a natural 20. <gasps> okay. Cool. <laughs> For 36. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a magical weapon. It is, yes. It, it sure is. Okay. Okay, so... Let me just look at this one moment. So... Sorry, I, I don't play barbarians very often. Oh, God, really? Alright, so that is... 19 points of bludgeoning damage which does a thing oh no that's fine and you cannot regain hit points until the start of your ne of his next turn okay and then he's going to do it again okay <clears throat> oh wait that times wait it was that times two so it is 28 points of bludgeoning damage. My bad. Oh, my, my apologies. I thought the 36 was the damage originally. Oh, no, 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 no. 28. <laughs> what did I just say? 28 points of bludgeoning damage. 28, yeah. Next one. Eh, less good. Dirty 20. That hits. It still hits? Excellent. Yeah. I'm not um, hard to hit. You're, you're air elemental. That is... 13 plus okay. 2 15 points of bludgeoning damage still can't retake do thingy thing cool is he closer to me what well, oh yeah he would be he would have come right up to you uh zenry oh, i'm gonna make concentration check yep oh crud is that actually zenry mm -hmm. you're up yeah Okay, I am gonna run to the spur guy. To the witch guy? To the sorcerer. Oh, yep. Because I have like 60 feet of me now, so uh, yeah, I can get there. And I'm gonna stab him twice mm -hmm. with her. Mm -hmm. Temp okay. Um, 17 for the first one? Yep. Okay, and the second one is a 19. So 27 points of those two hits. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do a flurry of blows to try yep. and hit him a couple more times. And that's like a 17 on the die plus 9. Yep. And a 13 plus 9 on the die. So both of those are going to hit. And yep. then I also need him to roll. Hold on. Plus 10. So 20 more points of damage. Okay. And I need him to roll a con saving throw. My DC. Um, const uh, constitution. Oh shit! No, am I looking? I am looking at the right guy. Wow. Um, that is twenty-two. Yeah. Okay. He's not. Turns out he's really good at those. Sweet. Okay. That's that you? is uh that's that's my turn. Cool. It is now the ranger's turn. He is going to You what do you do? He is going to conjure barrage. No, she's not, because she doesn't have enough range for that. She's gonna shoot you. How many times can you shoot, lady? God. Oh. 
Okay. Um, she <laughs> is gonna shoot twice at Alex. Because honestly, Alex is the biggest problem right now, as far as she's concerned. To be fair. So, first yeah. one is a 22. Yeah, that hits. Second one is a 26. No, it misses. Total. <laughs> cool. Um, that one. Oh, okay. So you're going to take some damage from that. I don't like how you just said that at all. Mm -hmm. Right? I find it hilarious myself, but you know. 24... As a bonus action, can I pee my pants? <laughs> 24 <laughs> points. That's reaction. a free action. 24 <laughs> points of damage from the first. Oh, and a lot less from the second. 3, 6, 10, 15 from the second. 4, 6, 6, 7, Um, and for uh, her... Second, 16? 16, yeah. And for her bonus action, she is going to cast... Where is it? Guardian of Nature. You watch as mm -hmm. fur covers her body and her teeth get a bit longer and she just looks a little bit more animalistic. And she's going to move forward into the room a bit. Mara! <clears throat> okay, you going to be a bit weird. Mara's going to try and walk onto the thing in the middle and see if she can just pick up the key. Okay. Make strength yes. check. Strength. Okay. 21. He doesn't move. He doesn't move. Okay. Um, then she's going to get really angry and just rage. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's you? That's me. Rumi. Uh, okay. Um, to take out, like, a weapon or a shield, is that a bonus action, free action, action? Just to take out a weapon? Uh, well, my shield. I, I never stated at all that I had taken it out, so... Uh, I, you can just take it out. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, action. <laughs> We're going to summon some crabs. Oh, yep. <laughs> of course you Crab are. Crab whooping! <laughs> what I do best. Come on, crab! There he is. And they, they are large. Yep, getting it. <laughs> <laughs> Controlled by, as always, Chelsea. Thank you. Thank How many you. are there? Remind me. Four. Three, please. Three. There you go. Uh, Put them where you want. Um, I, I, oh, can I grab you now? Oh, it's because I need. Okay. We're going to body that one with one. Uh, I think he needs to. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, what was my other plan? Oh, and then just a bonus action. Um, I will firebolt uh, the ranger. Okay. Um, 21 to hit. That hits. Twenty eight points of fire damage. Okay, and then all my crabs. I pre-rolled for the crabs. Yep. Okay, so the one on the ranger rolled a 22 to hit. Yep. For nine points of damage. Mm -hmm. And then they need to make a DC 14 grapple check. Okay. Oh, no, they are just grappled. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, so now they're grappled. Uh, second one was 17 to hit. For the Barbarian. 
No. No, for no, they get two attacks each. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> 17 okay. does not hit her. Um, and then the two crabs at the barbarian. 16 to hit? Nope. Okay, and then everything else will not hit the barbarian. Okay. Cool. That's, That's me. That's you. If. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> so Edith lets out a couple of uh, choice curse words. Um, because she's just really freaked out. And then she's going to... Let's see if I can get there. Okay, so she's going to use Dash in order to make it all the way over to... The person is currently in the claw of a crab. BT dubs. Oh no, they're restrained and can't fight back. She can they're, fight back. <laughs> she can fight back. <laughs> yeah. And it certainly gives me some advantage, I think, of... Um, yeah. What are you doing? So I'm I'm just going to go up to... Like, is it is it in the air where I couldn't reach? Well, I have boots anyway, so who cares? It, um, yeah. I mean, in the air, on the plane of air, is a bit meh. You're always on the air. Right. Okay, so Edith is going to use Dash to use her full movement to get to yep. the uh, ranger lady, and she's going to attempt to stab her with the knitting needle. Okay. Make an attack. Seventeen hit. Seventeen misses her. All right. I think dash is a bonus action for me, so then she's just going to use the rest of her action to back, or the movement to back up. I forget how that works when you use dash. Is it just one way and that's it? No, you you can you can bonus action dash. So you used how much movement does the dash give you? It gives me eighty total because my normal yeah. is forty. So you can you can use the rest of it to back away. Okay, so she will do that, and it doesn't give her because she has uh, doesn't give an opportunity of attack or whatever because she has the mobile feet. Yep. yep. Cool. Alex. Um, Alex is going to move over, sort of here, away from some people. Um, he's going to use his action to, uh, use his Rod of the Pack Keeper and give back a spell slot. Mm-hmm. And then he's going to Eldritch Blast the shit out of that sorcerer. Can't a spell. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Don't care. How unhealthy does that sorcerer look? He doesn't look great. He looks, he looks like he's still standing fine, but he's, he's taken some damage. Jax? Yeah? Uh, what's the range on counter spell? That's a good question. It's like huge. 16. I think it's a lot. I thought it I was I mean, te- technically, if, if, if he didn't have the range for this, then Alex didn't have the range to counter spell his yeah. synaptic static earlier. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. Right. Wait. He's... It's a lot. It's Where I was, it? I was okay. within 10 feet, so. Yeah. Alright. My bad, that's, I thought it was 30. That's you? Yep. It's Kayla. Okay, I'm really annoyed with this Barbarian, so I'm gonna cast Blight at 6th level on him. Okay. So I need a... <laughs> so I need a uh, Constitution saving throw, DC 22. Oh, he's good at those. That's uh 28. Okay, yeah, so he'll take half damage, which is why I did it at 6th level. <laughs> Give me one moment, I only have 5 DI out. That's all good. So many 7s. That's good. So 58 have would be 29 points of necrotic damage. Nice. Okay. 
Give me one moment, please, because I need to check something. Guess um, is going for a walk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> just give you a uh, tour of uh, the house. Bonus <laughs> action, produce flame at him. Okay. Does a 29 hit? Yep. Cool. Um... I can math, guys. That's what, as she says as she pulls out her gun. 25 points of fire damage. Oh. <laughs> Alright. That brings us mm -hmm. to... Are you done? I assume you're done. Yeah. Alright. I'm not gonna move. That brings us to the sorcerer who looks Zenry right in the face and grins and goes, I don't think you're going to get what you need. And he's going to face step back out of her reach so that she doesn't get an attack of opportunity and disappear into the door of the statue and he's gone. That brings us to the barbarian who is going to smack Zinkela. He is raging. Cool. He's, he's going to smack you with his awesome battle axe again a couple of times. So that is... Um, a lot. 25. <laughs> cool. So you will take... <coughs> 20 points of bludgeoning damage, and once again, you cannot heal. Okay. And again, that time it is a 24. No, 22. Oh. <laughs> Another 19 points of damage. She still has her elemental form, but barely. <laughs> Um, and then he is going to, that's not him, you are this guy. He is going to also face step right next to Zinri. And as he does, he does like a switcheroo and he pulls out a hammer. Zinri, you're up. Okay. So, um, I'm sort of pissed off at that guy, and I don't like being told that I can't do Um, so I'm gonna, as a bonus action, take my potion of hill giant strength. Um, oh. which will give me, uh, my strength score will go up. Oh, sh sorry. Um, go up to 21. Um, while wow. um, and then I will hmm was gonna run backwards, so I'll just um, I'll smack him a couple of times <laughs> with. Uh, 28 for the first one. Yep. Uh, but that's only a 15 second. 15 misses. That is, uh, 14 points of damage. Mm -hmm. And he needs to make a constitution save. That is a 19. He beat it. All right. He has very high constitution. Yeah, I think. But <laughs> so that's my turn. Okay. Uh, it is my ranger's turn. She's going to face step right next to Rumi because she doesn't like this crab business, mm -hmm. and she's going to pull out a rapier 
and stab you mm -hmm. with it. Mm-hmm. That is a... 28? Yep, that is. The first one, and a 24 for the second. That also hits. Okay. Nineteen points of piercing from the first one, and twenty-four from the second. Okay. Oh, and she used her face step, so... Oh, what is that? Oh. Alright. Um, and she's just gonna smile at you very sweetly and go, You're on the wrong side, you know. Mara. <laughs> she made a mistake. <laughs> Mara's raging. She's still got the uh, the blood axe out from when she bumped it out previously. Because mm -hmm. she never put it away. Take one step in. Mm -hmm. And flanking. Two swings for the blood axe. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm just looking uh... at things. Oh. <laughs> uh, First one is dirty twenty. I think that actually misses her. Hang on. Oh no, it, it hits her just. Okay. And the second one is twenty-seven. That also hits her. Oh. Oh, Help! Math! 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 The real villain of D and D. I know, right? <laughs> we were saying this the other night. Why do we play this game that has all this math in it? <laughs> right. So the first one is twenty slashing and three necrotic. Mm -hmm. And the second one is fourteen slashing and three necrotic again. And what else can she do? Really not a lot. Um, we'll go into a frenzy. Um, doesn't get to do any extra at the moment. It's just next time next, next she time. gets right. she gets extra hits. Cool, Remy. All right, since she's right up nice and close, let's start with. From the Lady Spoon of Tasha, casting Tasha's Mind Whip. So I need a DC 18 Intelligence Saving Trail, please. You said 18? Yes. That is 14. Oh, wait, wait. Oh no, it's the other one. Never mind, carry on. Hey. So, because she failed, I'll roll damage in a second. Um, uh, you cannot take a reaction until the end of your next turn. Mm -hmm. Moreover, on your next turn, you can only choose a move, an action, or a bonus action. You only get one. Okay. On your next round. And you're also taking 11 points of psychic damage. She, does, she seems unfazed by the psychic damage. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. But, yeah. What else, Rumi? Um... Bonus action. Well, you can't take a reaction, which means I can step away from you. Mm -hmm. So I will do that. No. I'm going to move behind Mara. Sorry. Yep. Um, and I am going to pull the dead. So I need a wisdom saving throw. Please. From her? Yes. That's pretty good, and she's quite good at that. 22. Okay. That was 18. Uh, then it is the crabs turn. So, crabs. They have 40 feet of movement, so they can come right up. Whee! Whee! Okay, crab at our ranger. Mm -hmm. 
have to do roll. Oh, right. I guess I should roll again, shouldn't I? Because the first one did miss. Oh, 19 to hit? No, that misses. Oh, okay. 19 misses? Mm hmm. Uh, okay, so both will miss the ranger then. Mm -hmm. Um, and then barbarian. Um, 21 to hit? Misses. Oh, wow. Oh, God. 22 to hit? Just hits. <laughs> cool. Okay. Oh, full damage, though. Uh, 10 points of damage. And he is now grappled, if he can be grappled by a large... Yeah, I don't see why not. Okay, yep. Uh, that will be a miss. And that is going to be 24. Will hit. Okay, and that is another full 10 for him. Uh, that is turn. Great. Edith. <laughs> Having some lunch. Snacking. So Edith is going to, let's see, I'm going to try to stab that lady, mm -hmm. the ranger lady, mm -hmm. with a 25 to hit. That is going to be 11 plus. Hell yeah. 29. So nice. how much is that? 40? Doesn't matter. I'll put them in separately. <laughs> then we don't have to do the math. There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then as a bonus action, she is going to try to make a second attack. Which is a 25. It's... For an additional 9 magical piercing damage. Okay. Cool. That's you. Alex! Alex will turn to this mob of people and the crab surrounding this ranger and go, You got this? <laughs> and zip around like, I assume this is a pillar or something? Yeah, here? yeah, they're pillars. Cool, and look straight at this uh, barbarian guy and go stop and cast whole monster on him. So, um, can Is I please have a charm effect? Uh, it's just a spell. Okay. Hold monster concentration. Wait, hold monster? Yeah, hold monster. Cool, that doesn't work. He's not a monster. It choose a creature that you can see within range. You want person. person. You need hold person. He's a person. <laughs> your your hold monster would work on my crabs. It would work on the crabs, but no, not on him. It says choose a creature. He's not a creature. No, he's a oh, person. No, he's, he's a person. person. I always okay. thought it did both. I thought it they did both. Totally that why doesn't make sense. Yeah. Then why would you have no. whole person as a separate thing? Because it's a lesson whole person thing. Like a only do human spell? Okay. Um. I feel like cool. that. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Everybody will I know. You're right. <laughs> Old monster works on any type of creature except undead. Okay. As you were. Cool. So, um, Alright, so what do, what do I need? What am I rolling? 21 DC wisdom save. Okay. Hopefully he's an unwanted. Amen. This is the guy that has. Eighteen. So. He is paralyzed. Okay. For a minute, while or while I while I hold concentration. 
go away. So he is... But he saves on his turn, I assume? Uh... Yeah, at the end of the turn, he can make another okay. wisdom saving throw. Cool, cool. So, um... I'm just gonna try and hold this guy in place while you deal with the ranger. <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot about that. Never hmm. mind. Carry on. Oh, so uh, also, while he's paralyzed, advantage on attacks against him and yep. hits or crits or something. I, it gets brutal. Ask Tess. <laughs> then Kayla. You're oh. up. Uh, Rumi, do you care if your crabs get electrocuted? Not at all. Do okay, you care cool. if Zinri well, gets electrocuted? I know, Maha! Uh, I'm gonna do it behind him. So oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just, there's one holding him, so that's why I feel like oh, I crabs I are disposable. Disposable crabs. Um, disposable crabs. <laughs> so... It's a dex check, and I believe because he's paralyzed, yep. he, he auto fails. fails. Auto fails. But for the crab that's holding him, I, it's a dex check of 22. <laughs> and your crab even make that no, check? No, no. <laughs> okay. They, they do have a lot of hit points, though, I will say. Twenty-three points of lightning damage. Oh, sweet. yeah, it's good. Okay. And then, then I'm gonna hit him with reduced flame because I'm right there. Oh wait, I need to roll for it. That's Sheldon, by the way, that you hit. <laughs> Twenty. Oh, I'm sorry, Sheldon. Twenty-eight. Yeah. Hit him. <laughs> yeah, that'll hit him. <laughs> That makes my math easier. 23. Fire damage. Okay. Cool. Alright. I need to just uh, check something. Please hold. Oh, sorry. Carry on. Which, you on? which way did... The, 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 I mean, I guess I wouldn't have saw him. Um, what is your question? Yeah, he went somewhere over. The, oh, like where the guy disappeared at? He went back into the statue and closed the door. Oh, okay. Well, can I come over here? Oh, let me grab this. Is the is the is there a gap in between the doorway and the? No, thing? it's like right. It's one of those perfectly made doors that is like like you wouldn't have even known there was a door there before they walked in. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna just whoop. Use the rest of my movement to fly over here. <laughs> okay. I need to check something. Please hold. We are. I'm currently holding on to a cat. <laughs> Cat's like, you're gonna die. I want to be here so I can eat you. Okay. The door opens. Just a crack. And he sticks his head out. And you hear him say, Sorry, Trinian. And he casts... Abby Delzum's Horrid Wilting. Oh, that sounds friendly. In a 30-foot cube centered on a point he chooses. So he is going to cast it so that it is... 30 I'm feet. Assuming this is a magical effect. It's a spell. Excellent. Wait. 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, but you know what? He can do it so it gets Alex too, I think. Yeah, he can. Well, depending yeah, on what, where it's can. centered. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he can move it up. Like there. Yeah. No. 
I need all of you who are inside there to make a constitution saving throw, please. And she has to make one too. <clears throat> We'll be using uh, Twitch inspiration for this. Yeah, I was going to get me some of that Twitch inspiration too. Oh, thank you, Twitch inspiration. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, thank you. All right, what have we got? Ready, Bunny. 20 on the, <laughs> on the inspiration die, so 21. 21? 20. 30, 20. Edith? 14. Crab? Oh, I did Mara. not roll for the crab. Just a second. Mara? 30, 20. Zankela? Natural 20 for 22. Cool. So the, crab the DC. Got 22. Amazing. The DC is 19. So anyone over 19, <laughs> you're good. You still take half damage, though. And it's a whopper. Goodbye, goodbye, play boy. That is 46 oh. points of necrotic damage on a fail, half on a save. And if you have any plants with dodge? you, your plants are dead. No, because Ankhani dodges this. Yeah. What was the total? 46. So, so half would be 23, 23 necrotic. Well, I have the minus <clears throat> air elemental. Oh, yeah. Um, Thank you. And and if you have any plants on you, your plants are now dead. Hmm. That's and the then... first damage now is taken. <laughs> what uh, it should be said? What type of damage is this? Necrotic. Okay. And then he is going to oh oh. No! No! <laughs> it breaks the concentration on the whole monster on the barbarian. You what? Did you lose it? Yep. Cool. That's good, because his turn's next. Um... <laughs> I rolled a nat one on the con save. Oh! oh. Okay. <laughs> For his bonus action, he is going to just good old-fashioned firebolt at Alex because there's a bit of a magic versus magic thing going on there. That's a lot because it was a high roll. Tw 32 to hit. Oh no, totally missed. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's all there as well as so that doesn't matter. So that will be... Oh, that's nice. 30 points Alex. of fire damage. Alex, you've got some twitch heals, just so you know. Oh. And then he's going to duck back in and close the door. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, you said 30, yes? I did. Which brings us to our newly able to move again Bababa, bar 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 Barbarian. <laughs> um, is the Barbarian currently grappled by a crab? I can't remember. He is a. Uh, yes, it was. So that gives him disadvantage on attacks? Correct? I don't remember what grapple <laughs> does. I think it does. Grapple, 5 e. It actually doesn't matter, because he's going to face step out of it. So okay. he's going to face step out of it, step behind Zinri, and then hit her. Um, as he is about to hit you with his gigantic hammer of badness, he says, he whispers in your ear, You seem like the smallest. I think they'll take your death the hardest. And then he hits you with his hammer twice. Um. Oh, my hands are shaking. He's terrible, but I don't mean it. Um, that's a 25 to hit. A hit. Um, I think. Please go away. Oh, okay. Um, so that is 16 points of 
bludgeoning, uh, sorry, 18 points of bludgeoning damage. And the second is a 22. Yeah. <laughs> 20 points of bludgeoning from that one. 22, sorry. 22. Uh, heal because I, huh? I just got a healing word. So oh, jeez! I, got, I thought you said that's me killed. I was like, no, whoa, no, you're no, very no, chill no. about that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> wow. Okay. Whew. Um, he also has to do this, I think. Oh shit! I can do that too. I'm just gonna do that. Let's just do that. Take an additional five points of something. Kind. I assume it's just the same kind of damage, so bludgeoning. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because he has a thing that just adds damage to stuff. Because barbarians are like that. How are you looking, Zinri? I'm okay. I'm okay. Cool. It's your turn. Alright, so I'm gonna quickly whip out a, um, what was it? A lickety split licorice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and use it so I have haste for the mm -hmm. moment. Yep. So that I can attack him three times with my um, spear. Yep. Uh, so. Uh, that is not. I don't. Twenty-one is one of them. Uh, Twenty-one misses. The other. Yeah, they all miss. All miss. So pissed off. Um, but he can try and fail a constitution save. You know, <laughs> probably I won't. I don't, but I don't think try. he's gonna fail with a nineteen on the die. Oh no. Oh wait, that's not even the right. I'm not even. It's it's like he has. So that's a twenty. No, thirty. <laughs> I can math. <laughs> thirty. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> um. All right. That's uh, her turn then, because she can see something. Now it so. is the ranger. She is held by a crab? Uh, I deleted everything. <laughs> Sorry, I should have kept it in my brain. but I don't remember, honestly. Okay. According to Bagsy, no crab missed. No. Ah, okay. Yeah, I, I had a lot of misses. Cool. She is going to... Oh, jeez. Alright, yeah, let's do that. She's going to do <laughs> Steel Wind Strike. That's fucking cool. Um, she basically points her arrow at five of you. So I'm gonna say... Do they have to be in a line? That seems way OP. No, just five creatures you can see within 30 feet of her. So that would be one, two, three, four, five. So the four of you around her and Alex. I am behind a pillar. Oh, you are behind a pillar. You are behind like, a pillar. I'm totally cool with taking the hit. I'm just. No, 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 no. I forgot that it was a pillar. That's a fair point. Because I specifically Rude. said, is that yeah. a pillar? I go yeah, around no, you're right. All right, then, in that case, and, and Zinri's out of range, so it'll be the crab next to her, I guess. Because Rumi's hiding behind Mara. <laughs> no, no, Rumi's behind Mara for a reason. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> I basically make a spell attack against each of you, so. This is a spell? Yeah. You have disadvantage against me. Okay. Because of my shield. So we'll do yours first. Um... God damn it. Sorry. Uh, 19 with disadvantage. Then yes. Kayla. Dirty 20. Mm -hmm. Edith. 16. That misses. Oh, that's cocked. Mara. Dirty 20. It's. Crab. 23. Oh, yeah. Totally hits the crab. So. I'm going to just roll one lot of damage, and those of you who are hit, 
Uh, and Rumi okay. will use her reaction for interception on Mara, because she's within five feet of me. And I will reduce her damage by five points. Cool. Okay. All right. Uh, 16... 26. So that's 36 points of force damage. Okay. Uh, the crab oh, is. Man, we uh, like potion. <laughs> if you've drunk your potion, you're resistant. If you it. drank your potion, which I only think two of you did, that I recall. I was raging. Okay. It's force damage, though. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, she can then teleport, so she is going to do that. Um,. Oh no, she can only. She's just going to pull herself out of, oh, out of, out of the the crowd and come around behind Rumi. Um, and then she's going to use her bonus action. Oh, to stab you because apparently she can do that. Um, sorry. So she's going to try to stab you, Rumi. Yeah. 18? Yes, that hits. Cool. That is 16 points of stabby damage. Okay. Mara, you're up. Really not happy. Gonna run around to the other side of her again. <laughs> <laughs> Now she gets to hit her three times. Yep. Do it. And I'm going to use Twitch Inspiration on the first one. <laughs> Which gives it 26 for the first hit. Yep. And oh, yep. Then 23 for the second hit. Yep. What that would be. That is only a 17 for the third. So it's just two of them. He misses. I to answer chat's question, they have a lot of face steps. A lot. Because of who they work for. Uh, 19 slashing and 3 necrotic on the first hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seven slashing and two necrotic on the second. Did you say seven? Yes. Oh. I got a one on the dice, on the oh. dice, and then it's a plus six, and then. Okay. I know. No, that would be actually ten. Okay. So I got one plus six yep. plus three. Yep. Yeah. Got it. She's looking rough. She's looking rough. I know. I. That's um, you. Yeah, Mara can't really do anything else at the moment. <laughs> Rumi. Choices. Okay. Um, no, I guess we're we're gonna. Mm. What are you doing? I'm gonna bend down and touch the sigil that we are on top of and cast a spell magic at four. Nothing happens. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> nope. 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 Uh, it's all good. She is in my business, and uh, that is no good. I'm going to have to take a step back, because I can't do anything up close. She will get an attack of opportunity on you. Yep, yep. That's a natural 20. Uh, well, I'll cancel the crit, because <laughs> I can do yeah. that. You're within 5 feet, uh, 20 feet. You're within 5 feet. Oh, and I mean, I'll, I'll, ba I'll, I'll back up further. I just wanted to get that first. 16, yes, yeah, 16 that's... points of stabby damage. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. that was a natural 20. No, I cancelled. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Do you have less than 100 hit points right now? Oh, God, yes. Rumi drops dead. Cool. Uh, does Death Ward bring me back up? 
I assume it would, yes. So essentially what you watch is the sword stab her and just, like, suck the life out of her. And she drops, but Death Ward will bring you back to one hit point. Okay. Uh, in that case, after that, I will... Uh, fly... Um, 10 feet this way and then 30 feet up. Okay. Uh, and then Getting out. Bonus action. I actually I have a superior hearing, healing potion. Okay. Okay. Edith. She is going to go right where to um, <laughs> words. Uh, right where Rumi was so that she's flanking this bitch and she yep. wants to try and stab her again. Mm -hmm. Maybe be Twenty-five to hit. That hits. For ten plus seventeen magical piercing. That's twenty-seven. And then bonus action, she's going to try to stab her again, but I'm pretty sure this misses. Um, oh, I have Twitch inspiration. I'm going to use that. You're still hanging on to my talisman, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have that, too. Just want to check something. Um, so, 25 to hit. Okay. For an additional 11 piercing damage. Okay, so you watch as she drops. And she is bleeding out on the ground. And as she bleeds, her blood falls into the inlay of this tree. And the gold of the thing starts to glow red. And it's like a crimson, like a leaves turning red, is what it looks like. Um, and Edith, you watch as the key clearly comes loose. I'm going to try to grab it if I can, if I have enough movement or time or anything. I would say you've used your action and your bonus action. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. Oh, no, <laughs> you can't. Um, <laughs> you're can probably also action, the only like, one yell? who has seen it. So yes, you can if you want. I will let you I will say scream something. like, the key, the key is out. Okay. Alex. Um, I'm gonna hold three Eldritch Blasts if that goddamn sorceress sticks its goddamn head out, and I'm gonna shoot its face off. Like, completely off. Alex is pissed. Fair enough. Alright, that's you. Yep, and Kayla. Hold. Okay. Would it be a bonus action to get the key, or an action to try and get the key? Bonus action. You're just picking it up. Okay. It's no uh, longer lo locked in, so you've unlocked it by killing this person on top of the tree. Great, great, great. Uh, so I'm going to use my action then to cast heal at 7th level, and Zenry gets 80 HP. Oh. 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 I, do I don't know how down she is, but I know he hits like a motherfucker. Um... <laughs> And then she's gonna move ah, oh. over and try and get the key. But can I, I? I forgot to do crabs. Can I do only one hit for five points of the barbarian? If it matters. Uh, yep. Cool. <laughs> they would need to move because he did move out. Oh no, they have range, don't they? They have like ten foot. Uh, yep. I'm oh sure yeah, they, they yep, yep. They have ten yep. feet. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's you. See. Yep. Yeah. Well, she's yeah. So she healed Zinri and oh, with and picks uh, up the key. Is a bonus action. It's the key. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Are you moving? Uh, no, because she wants to make sure she can get Zinri out. Okay. Have you let us all know that you've got the key? <laughs> I was gonna say, did you tell us? I mean, she would hold huh? it up, like waving it, like I got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Hey. The sorcerer sticks his head out of the door. <laughs> yeah, Delphic blasts no. in the face. You don't even need to roll. He has one hit point left. He's out. Oh, well, I need to hit him. Oh, you need to hit him. Yeah. So the <laughs> lowest is uh twenty-two. Yeah, you hit him. Cool. You're fine. So yep. he He's took blasted. a lot of damage. <laughs> yep. To the yep. face. Hundred percent. Cool. Um, which brings us to the barbarian who is now everybody's dead. 
He is going to Everybody's scream. Dead, Everybody's dead. Really oh, loudly. Oh. And he's going to say something in Sylvan. Do any of you speak Sylvan? Yep, yep. Yes. <laughs> he says, We are bested. We need your aid. <gasps> and, he, and he's going to face step back to his statue and disappear into it. Which point we're out of combat? Run! 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 Oh, so you're run to the oh, taken yeah. off. Mara's oh. still very, very angry and frenzied, so she's gonna try and just lock the head off the ranger. <laughs> Dead ranger. And steal her shit. And yeah. kind of take the head. Make a strength oh, no, check for me. Her. Are you guys gonna tell the rest of us who can't speak Sylvan what they said? I'm just shouting yes. run. Yeah, I heard Alex say run. I'm booking it. Uh, Room is going to say, say don't take the head. We could maybe be traced through it. Oh, yeah. All the way home. <laughs> 19. Come off. All right. Go, 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 go. Come on. Your turn back. Go. There's I'll a spinny, 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 spinny of then. doors. I assume you've marked this door already. Yes. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Before we cool. Were. We're going to take a quick break because it's been a long one. Um, and you still have one key to find. So we're going to take a quick, like, five-minute break just to give everyone a chance to catch their breath. Um, and we will be back shortly. Um, don't go anywhere, folks. We'll see how this goes. See you in a bit. Oh, humans of the internet. Welcome back to the Gallant Horde. We are currently playing the fourth seal, and it's a whopper so far. So, you have now got three out of the four keys. What are you doing? Next door. Next oh, door. Next door. Next door. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, I assumed you left. I assumed you were back back on the yeah. Mara's uh, Mara's rage drop. Um she gets a point of exhaustion from the frenzy. She did yep. drag the bow out with her because she couldn't take the head. Yep, but, yeah. fair enough. Cool. What you doing? Going Gonna to try and the hustle them to the next door. door. Hey, yeah. who's opening the store? Mara well. I'll do it. <laughs> roll, whoever's doing it, roll me a d8, please. I'll do it. <laughs> Six. Cool. <laughs> you find yourselves on a platform. There is a river of what is quite clearly acid. It is bubbling in a horrible way. Um, it is, if you look into it, at least 60, 70 feet down. Hard to judge the exact distance, but it's far. And there is a chest at the bottom. There are a number of dials. Um, as you walk in, it's pretty clear. It's, it's kind of dimmish on this one. It's not like dark because you're still outside and there's still sky around you. Um, but it's very clear that three of the dials have lights that have lit up on them what do you want to do uh before we go any further rumi's going to use her six level spell to cast heal on herself okay Mara is going to pull out a greater healing potion and offer it around in case anyone needs it oh okay. that's probably a good idea i will definitely grab that okay you can pull uh, out another one if anyone else needs one. Is that from the go bag? We might as well use them from the go bag. No. Um, Mara's own stash. We do have the go bag. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Mara had her hands on her own bag, so she pulled out that one. I'm going to use my own healing potions and heal myself. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to, like, have a look around this room, see what the go is, there's lights, cool. Um, mm -hmm. I want to look for, like, any sort of writing instructions. Sure, make an investigation check. Oh, that's a 16 on the dice. So, 24. 
there is no writing. There is there are dials. The dials are quite clearly on and off, like they're binary. They're not there's no spectrum involved. It's like on and off. Um that's all. There's no writing. There are definitely no instructions. Sorry. Um from that do I get an idea of what's flowing which way here or I mean the acid is coming out of a pipe and flowing through and then disappearing uh, coming out of the top one and then probably disappearing through the bottom one um okay guys so I'm thinking we need to stop the acid get to the chest breaking things is a really bad idea uh We've got to um, move fast, though, so... Yup. Is it Caleb, any chance did you bring control water? No. Damn. Okay. So... These things are got These things are gotta do something, so, uh... Right. Yeah. Mara's going to head up to the top one, mm -hmm. and she's just going to start spinning the wheel. Cool. It clunks from one direction to the other. Mm -hmm. um, a light comes on on this one, and these two on either side of it go off. Okay. Does anything change on the flow of acid? Okay. We have to get them all lit up, probably, and figure probably. out the correct way to turn them on. <laughs> all on or all off? Yes. I'm assuming all on. I know, that's what I would think. That would make more sense. If how it's deep the is ones the... on either side. How, how deep does the acid look? 60, 70 feet at least. It's hard to judge from above, but it's deep. Now it's will fly over to this one that was on. Mm -hmm. Um, What happens if you turn that back the other way? So you're turning that one? Uh, the one that Mara just turned one right, way. So Mara will try turning it back the other direction. Cool. This one goes off. These two go on. Okay. We turn it. If we turn them all off, then we just work our way around a little bit. So Mara's going to swing again. <laughs> On the same one. Yeah. <laughs> Where was that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we all need to be at a valve and then uh, at a thingy and. Alex will try the one that he's on and see what changes. Okay, so you're turning your one? Yep. Cool, your one turns on. This one turns on. This one turns off. First, it messes with the one right next to it. So whatever it is will be the opposite. Yep. Yes. Okay. Are All we right, going so to on turn or that off? off? So if I turn that off, does that prove that theory? That you the turning it off? It does the switch. So you're turning it off? Yeah. Yep, as expected. Okay, so can somebody who's got a brain that can actually figure this out? Because I Rumi does hers cannot next. Cannot do that. Rumi needs to do hers next. Hey, okay, I'll turn up mine on. So yours goes on. Mara's goes off. Sinri's no, that's in Kayla. Bunny, one of the bunnies. Bunny brigade. <laughs> Yay! Goes on. 
And then V turns hers off. Okay. So these three all go off then. Hey! Does not want to. No, it's giving me trouble. Okay, so they're all, all off. Does what happens happen? to the acid? Nothing. Okay, so they all do need to be on. On. And we know the rules. Kinda. <laughs> Kinda. So, it's yet again, someone with a brain. <laughs> okay, someone start. <laughs> so if Zinri turns hers on, then we get three on. And then if Alex turns his on, we should, in theory, get the three more. I don't know how to make it work no, to get the other two. Move, no. You want to move to the... Okay, so I I will turn one on. I think I've got it. Wait. Okay, so I'll turn mine on. Mm -hmm. And it should affect three of them. Yep. And then, Alex, you need to move to this one. So you just direct Alex to the one on <laughs> next to you, and Alex will just do it. Because mm -hmm. yeah. Alex is, I don't have to... You all hear a voice That goes That just <laughs> echoes across the room It's a very kind of sexy Masculine manipulative voice Sounds very charming Like you're pretty sure Mara wants to kick of anything. Mara wants to kick the owner of it <laughs> And he just says I'm getting extremely tired Of you lot showing up and causing trouble constantly. Perhaps we should make this more interesting. Um, mind blank and non-detection help with this? No, it's actually yeah. there. The voice is echoing through the place. It's okay. not telepathic. Yeah. Cool. 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 Do you think cool. they still have two balls? <laughs> Does the Edith tree balls has it no. has that finished? No. Okay, well, you don't and see does anything. Does anyone get like an idea of like where that voice is coming from? It seems to be coming from everywhere. Alex doesn't uh, care. Continue the puzzle. The... Yeah. So, go, Alex, Alex. You, are you doing the thing? Yeah. Right. Cool. This is not his concern. <laughs> Oh shit. It's two. God damn it. Uh, it's, uh, da, da, huh? You you will notice that the acid starts to rise. Oh shit. Ah! Everyone's floating. <laughs> Whoa, what did I do? Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is doing the opposite of what we want. Mm. But I think this is what he's he's causing this now. So that is now also all acid. Okay. What are you doing? Roomy. We just have to go around one by one, do them all in order, and that should get us around just like it was turning it off. Can I, as a Alex, make an intelligence check to figure this out? Because I can't, this is not going to work for me. Yeah. <laughs> but Alex is pretty smart. Lost. Jessica knows that there is some pattern here, and I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Question. Yes. Does that does that uh chest? That's the word I'm looking for. Look like it's tied down to anything. Mm, you can make a perception check with disadvantage because you're looking through acid. Okay. Perception with disadvantage. Yeah. All right. Well. 26. Not that you can see. There's no, like, chains or anything holding it down. 
And the very first mission that we went on, it was a black, like, wormling? Dragon wormling? Green, but yes. Right? Yep. Green? Okay. Are, uh, well, okay. Let me double check something. You can go on to thinking. I need to double check. Yeah, so can, like, Alex... Can Alex have figured this out from what he's seen happening? I'm saying no, because I really want you as players to deal with this problem. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> and I don't think it's fair for you yeah. to roll an intelligence check for me to give you the answer. <laughs> I will accept the quote. <laughs> we, turned them off. we turned them all off by doing them one at a time in order. So it would turn, it would keep flicking them over if we kept doing that. Right, so, if Alex turns his off, does the uh, Alex will turn the one that he's standing next to off and see if the acid level drops. Oh, sorry, I pressed the wrong thing. Does then Kayla have like stone shape or mold earth or anything like that? Today, I thought it was the black dragon that she saw, and it was green. Otherwise, was I would have just went into the acid. Yeah. Oh, it was green, I was thinking it was a green wormling. Like, the, the stone's not being worn down by the acid, so if we could, like, tunnel it so it'll drain somewhere else and block the pipe, but... So, acid levels don't change? Nope. You hear a chuckle. It echoes through the whole room. Alright, let's do it the other way. Let's just, one in order. Go, go, go. So, Zinri did hers, so if Z does hers. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Kayla? Okay. Do, 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 do. Alex? Mm -hmm. The the other keys, are they magic? Yeah. You've got detect yeah. magic up. Look at Mara's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 I they, are. they are. They are. They are. You already yeah. knew that, yeah. Uh, Is it in the chest as well? It's out of range for me to tell. Yeah. You can't tell. Okay. Detect right. magic's only if, 10 feet. How far does Mage Hand go? Uh, 30 feet and can only lift like 5 pounds. Uh, no, 30 feet isn't long enough though. Right. Rumi turns hers. Yeah. Love how Amara is just like, I'm in charge now. <laughs> so this I, can, I, can, I can get the chest open. We just need to get the key out. Mm -hmm. This one goes on. If we end up having to do it, Mara will this go in the acid gone. to retrieve. Mara turns hers. No. That means Mara's... Oh, my. Mara's goes off. Rumi's goes on. Okay. Alex needs to do the one that's just turned off. Yeah, uh, it's just turned on, rather. Okay, so Alex will go up there and turn that off. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then he goes back to the other one there and t does that one. Turns that? Yep. You all hear... Ugh, I'm so bored of this. Just all this turning yeah. of knobs. Don't you want to do You're something? You're a knob. <laughs> la, 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 la. Boo, doo, doo, boo, doo, boo, doo. You're a knob. Zindri is totally humming <laughs> and not paying attention to anything. Um, the acid moves up a bit. Ooh, Granny do it. yours! Edith does hers. Wait, is that on my? That's on you on my layer, isn't it? You guys can't even see that. Hang on. Nope. <laughs> Dumb. Please I was like, see what? <laughs> like, what are we supposed to see? <laughs> ah! I was oh, being dumb. Here's death. Yes, here's death. death. I don't know why it's gone solid all of a sudden, but there we go. Acid got bigger. <laughs> 
Okay. Sinri, are you it... in the air right now? What? Are you in the air? Yeah, I mean, I'm just like hovering. Cool. Carry yeah. on. Yep, hey. what are we doing? Edith's doing hers. Okay. Yes. Um, so, does. Oh, crap. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Please hold while I yeah, get well. the right tool. <laughs> So wait, are you? Which one are you doing? That one first, and then okay. that one. Waiting for instructions. Yeah. Cool. Alexis would have gone on. Yep. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Next one. Yep. That one. Yep. Yeah. That puts them all on. Mara has raised several children and has had to keep them occupied with things. <laughs> nice work, Mara. The acid from the pipe stops running and gradually it all drains out. Ah! Run! Fly! Fly down! Get it! Also, Alex will float over, fly over in his broom, mm -hmm. using Mage Hand, will open so no, going down into the pit into the pit he definitely won't he will <laughs> think about that before he does it like he starts the whole thing he's like somebody needs to check this for traps uh edith or whatever Don't edith's leave. code name is i've forgotten oh, I need... <laughs> it's, it's your grandma she's here yeah granny can you check this out for traps yes honey which one is that that's perception or whatever uh, investigation. Oh, I'm sure. Nice Can we all just give Chrissy a round of applause for just nailing that puzzle? Yay! Nice work. Because yes. <laughs> I was looking at it going, I don't understand. Like, I couldn't figure it out. There's this much yeah. left. And I was like, I don't I don't understand how this works. I, awesome. I all right. Go. Edith. Investigation. I'm, I'm really shitty at this, honey. Are you sure you want me to do this? Yeah, you're fine. You've got Fuck this. It. <laughs> all right, Edith. We'll, we'll do that. Fourteen. Not trapped. You're very close. Cool. Fine. That. So yeah, if, it's fine. I I will like so pop back up on my room and go. Okay, guys, if we could all go to the door. If something goes wrong, I'm just gonna jump to Granny. Mm -hmm. All good. Cool. Yep. Um, I will go up thirty feet from the top of the chest, and I'll use Mage Hand to open the top of it. There is a key in the bottom. I will grab the key, and then, provided nothing goes diabolical wrong. I will move over to the door. Cool. Yeah. Nana, when we get out and before we start opening locks, perhaps you should get the door out and potentially ready. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So you're, you're going through the door back to the original one? Yep. 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 Cool. You now have four keys, north, south, east, and west. And a chest with four locks, north, south, east, and west. When you get back, the doors do not spin. One of them opens, and a elvish man steps out. I want to cast silence. <laughs> Where he's at. Like, <laughs> silence. Dispel that. <laughs> huh? He's going to can't dispel that. <laughs> oh. He's going to just be like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Damn it. And he's going to sit on the rocks cross-legged and fold his arms and go, you all put yourselves through so much for her. Whatever for? What is she offering you? And I'll do this. Just, just ignore him, kids. Mm -hmm. We we got shit to do. Yeah. Who's got the door? <laughs> the door. Cast yeah. bitch I got the door. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure that because I think I'm hanging on to a couple of keys right now. I'm gonna like pass keys around to people that don't yeah, have yeah. jobs assigned. Yeah. Mara um, will pass hers over to someone else because she's got the door. Before we start doing things, I'm going to cast Magic Circle around us. So we need to kind of get a little bit closer. Are um, you putting yourself around Are you putting the circle put, around, around the chest us. as well? And the yes. chest? Yes. Okay. All of us. I need to go yeah. look at what it does. Hang on. 10 foot radius, 20 foot tall cylinder. I'm going to choose the creature Faye. Mm. 
Um, the creatures can't willingly enter the cylinder by non-magical means. If the creatures try to use teleportation to get in, they need to make a charisma saving throw. And I'm going to choose that uh, they have disadvantage on attack rolls against us. Okay. I'm going to give you a magic circle because I have those now. Awesome, and guys. If you want, up for an hour. If, if we know what we're doing and we want to silence where we're at, we could do that. So we can't hear him. I mean, I can do that. But then we can't talk to each other either. I know. I know. And I'm we can't saying. cast spells. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying, if we need to. Let's use this one. How big is this circle? Whoa. Uh, epic. Uh, <laughs> 10 feet uh -huh. and then 20 feet up in the air. 10 feet. Yeah. Radius? It, yeah. Okay. So that's how big it is. Where are you putting it? Like that? You can't get the whole chest in it. You can probably get the bit of the chest with the locks, though. Yeah. We, we need to all squish and I would tell us all to, like, yeah. get in. Yep. Cool. We'll do a squish, squish. Yeah. So anyone who doesn't currently have an assignment... Apparently assign... it costs a minute. It takes a minute to cast. Are you taking that minute with him? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll take the minute. He's not doing anything. We'll just He's... carry on with, yeah, we'll without, with what we want. You guys start on the locks and... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like... I assume assign... you all had a hero's feast, right? Yes, yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes. Although there may be a few heroic ants wandering around the realm at the moment. That's okay. Wow, Thanks, I just Alex. wrote hero's feet. That's a, that, that's a, that's a different <laughs> spell altogether. We <laughs> immune um, to Satan, charm, weird, yeah. okay, poison, cool. poison, poison. Resistance. Yeah. Yep. Sweet. Advantage on wisdom saving throws. So right, let's do this. we'll get we'll get set up. I'll hand keys out so everyone who doesn't have a job has a key. And he floats up above the thing and he, he looks down and he goes, Gosh, you got all four. Did you find my presents? What presents? Keep going, Alex. Alex actually, even looks like Alex he's has gonna orders, talk back to he definitely would not be responding. There were yeah, a lot of presents. I do hope you return them to her. Okay, let's um let's everybody put in a lock at the same time or key at the same time. After you've put the door down. Are we having the key uh, door down? Door open. Mara shoves the north key in. Okay. Yeah. Whatever key I've got, I'll put it in. Everybody turn at the same time. One, two, three, turn! <laughs> the chest flies open. And there is like a shining beacon of light that comes out of it. It looks like the, the thing in the suitcase in Pulp Fiction. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> um... <laughs> Hang on. Oh, <laughs> good point. Okay. Um, and it is pulling all of you. There's like a gravitational pull. Are you resisting it? No. I need a strength check if you're resisting it. Mara, strength do you have save. the door in your hand? Strength save if you're resisting I it. it. I thought I'd put the door the down and open. opened it before we opened the lock. Yep, that's what she did. That's what I got told today. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to try and resist it, but it's definitely not going to go well. It's an 8 for me. Um, using my Twitch inspiration. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> yeah. um, I'll do the Twitch inspiration sorry. thing. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference. Yeah, Is, and, uh, is this technically a, a, a spell or magical effect? I suppose it would be, yeah. Yeah, I would say yes. Two. Wait, you got a two. Wait, I've got disadvantage anyway. I rolled double two. So. <laughs> oh my god. Oh All right. my goodness. I okay, let's make this easy. Did anyone get over 20? I got 20. Why do you have disadvantage on strength saves? Oh, because you're exhausted. Sex. Strength check. No, Is it's it a save, save or a check? It's a save. Oh, it's a save. That's, yep. that's, that's not a disadvantage then. Oh. Um, right. <laughs> Okay. Did anyone get over 20? Just 20. Okay. So, 20 is the DC. So, Zenri, you managed to keep your feet. The rest of you are sucked into this thing. Zenri, what are you... All... I, I, okay. <laughs> then I, like, grab the door, like, close it, grab it, and jump in after them. Okay. 
Okay, so you do have the door with you. Yes. By one point, because the DC <laughs> was 20. <laughs> that okay. nearly was very and bad. And you know, you. the reason why I have a 20 is because I took the potion of hill giant strength. Yeah, Otherwise, true. Be... Yeah. <laughs> cool. You find mm -hmm. yourselves in a chamber. There are four enormous djinn, genie, oh, looking boy. people There's in this chamber. Yeah. They oh, are oh, whole, they are all standing on like plinths and have their hands around chains. There are obviously the four cardinal. This is clearly the rose of brass. The chains are made of brass. There is a platform hmm. around this. It looks like you're looking into a sun. That's the vibe. It's this vortex of radiant energy. Um, coming out of the vortex are like tentacles, which at the moment are still, they're just lying on the ground, not doing anything. As you enter the chamber, the four jinn speak, and this is what they say. North and south, east and west, we must stand without arrest, standing vigil round the brass holding strong, she will not pass. Like Atlas held the sky above, we do not move for pain or love. Until the day of the open gate, when four more come, we will be eight. What do you do? Can we talk to these guys? I feel like they get a rough end here. What if okay. we help them? We will be helping them. Well, let's everybody we'll pick up a, a friggin' pull. thing and pull. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like the other faces. ones. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Edith yeah. is gonna fly uh, over to one and, and try and pull it. Which one are you flying over to? I would say, if it were a cardinal direction, I would say probably north, what is that? Northeast. Northeast, okay. Do you want to put yourself there? <laughs> Working on it, yes. <laughs> you you pull on the chain, nothing happens, nothing changes. It's I think clearly we all have very to heavy. Together. Yeah, Alex will go southwest. I have the door, so I don't want to go uh, pull one. Um, Susan Kayla doesn't have one, so... I will go. I'm real thick with um, Zenry at the moment. Okay. Everyone each, pull each at the these, same time. Each of these places has a plinth much like the giants have. They, mm -hmm. without taking their eyes off the center of this thing, and in unison say, if you choose this vigil, you cannot let anything distract you it's they use the word vigil they did use the word vigil um, hey guys seen... if we pick this up we can never leave um yeah that's, i don't want to do that how about we just wrap this thing up like that looks like the thing we're after right well i don't think there's anything specific in there. There's not like a gem. There's a vortex of light, is what yeah, you're seeing no in there. Yeah, there's no gem. There's no nothing. It's not... Um... Mara's gonna step up to the one closest. Mm-hmm. And talk. Tap his leg, because he's huge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, which one are you talking to? Oh, the west, uh, east. 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 <laughs> so, what happens if you let go? The world's crumble. Is there anything we can do to stop it? To stop the world's crumbling? Yeah. Perhaps. But you are very tiny and I do not think you can do it. What would it be?
If eight take vigil, the platform will lower and the crystals will protect. But if even one is distracted, the protection will leave. You are very tiny. I do not think you can do it. Is there anything that can make us less tiny? They don't respond. They're like, what are you talking about? You're tiny. These guys are fucking huge. Is what this... you're looking at here are the four winds. Who That's has the north mean. wind on them? Maybe go up to the uh, north. Try right the north. This isn't. This isn't Maybe. something we we can barter away. This is something we have to do. We we can't they tell them to, to drop their drop their no. posts. They're not going to do it. They're we will literally crash. Mm -hmm. Sinri will volunteer to be one of the pillars. She'll hand it to Mara. And... Does this look like some of those magic tears that Alex has seen running around when he's been on other missions? I mean, yes, but on a whole nother level. This is like... This is the reason those tears exist. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, what if we just open the door here? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think here is the problem. Because mm -hmm. I've seen weird stuff like this before. What are you I was going to look around. If everyone's in agreement with putting the door down here, she'll put the door down and open it again. Okay. As and much she's going to tap I'm... on the gym's leg again. But I think this might help stop the world from crumbling. Four more come. We will be eight. It is the only way. I think the best game plan is to have Rumi not holding one of the chains. Mm -hmm. So I can give you guys bless, and I can heal if need be. Um, so who's got the gem to seal this up after? I do. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you need to not be doing yeah. this. Alice will yeah. go back to... Mara will take the, uh... Ruby spot. <laughs> pick Alex off. <laughs> also, if this is about concentration, this is likely a constitution type thing. I'm terrible at that. I was hoping it was... <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Alright, let's do it. So, what are you doing? So, Mara placed the door down and opened it, and then the four of us came so to... So, Mara, where and... exactly is the door? Because this might become important. I kind of handed it back off to Rumi when I swapped places with her. Oh, okay. So where is I the door? I didn't put it down. I With Rumi. <laughs> um, Rumi? How close can I get to the center? You can get to the edge of the rock. I will go to the edge of the rock then. So um, that is, you're currently on the platform, which is super hot right now. Oh, so if you're okay. doing that, yep. yeah. Uh, I'm immune to, I am immune, resistant, I'm resistant mm. to radiant damage, but let's, let's not play with that, because I have no more death ward. Um, okay. can I go towards the, he's north? The top one's north, yeah. Okay, let's, let's do that, and I will set the door there. Cool, I'm gonna draw it. It's like 10 feet, I think we decided last time. I can't even yeah. see the, the things, but that looks about right. So that's where you're putting it? Yes. Are you trying to avoid the tentacles? Yes. Let's move it then. Wait! Yeah. Oh. Why does it always make it? It'll let I me move it. There we go. Face. 
as she hears her friend Ferris. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so we'll put it there, then it's out of reach of that particular tentacle. Which is okay. currently they're just lying on the ground. They're not. And before there. everybody went to their posts, you would stay close to me so I can cast Bless on all of us. Okay. So that's okay. a fourth level Bless. Okay. Okay. So four of you take up who's not on the thing, Alex and Rumi. Yep. Correct. Okay. I'll, Alex, um... can you can you stay by the door? Because I'm probably yep. gonna make bad life decisions, and that is. So that I'm gonna think? go and take my talisman back off, Edith. It's like, sorry, I'm probably gonna need this. Yeah, you mm -hmm. are, sugar. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't. Where did I go? Oh my god. I know. I'm like, I don't. Oh, I disappeared, dead. but I would. Where be... did you go? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Me neither. He disappeared. Did you when go you under a job? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll just get you back. One moment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're too scared. <laughs> we're we're just disappearing off the map now. <laughs> it's because we're too tiny. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Uh, Remy's dead, I... you guys. She fell in. <laughs> hey. Okay. If, if if I start to fly closer, is it hot? Like, can I not like? It is. Fly? It is emanating heat. Yes. Okay. Would if I start to take heat damage if I? If you try to go inside, absolutely. Okay. It's not. It's not hot enough to damage you above the platform. Yeah, that like I would want to fly up just so like I can be within sixty feet of everybody yeah. if I need to so start healing. It's, it's hot, but it's not damaging you. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not going. I'm not in there. I'm up. <laughs> Myra's now going to take her potion. So is Edith. The, the resistance to force potion, that one. Yes, yes Edith as well. Good idea! <laughs> okay, so, four of you take your spot on the plinth, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. As and you folks. do, the, the four djinn together say, again, four more come, we will be eight. It is the day of the open gate. And they grab hold of the chains and start to pull. Okay. Are you doing the same? I need you four to make strength checks for me. Strength checks? Oh. You all bless? <laughs> oh, bless. Yes, yeah, strength checks to see if you can get control of the chains. Oh, if this um, was ever the time to do Advantage. It What do you get with Bless again? I'm sorry. D4. D4. Add a D4 to it. 21. Cool. It was ever a time to do it. I rolled a natural 20 and a nice. 4 on the Bless, so 24. <laughs> nice! Okay. Edith? Nice. 8. Mara? Oh wait, that that's not right. Hold on. Yes, it is. Mara? You used yep. the bless, Edith? Edith? Yeah, I did, and it rolled something else, so shit, that was wrong. Just roll the d4. Okay. While you're working it out, Mara, what's your number? 21. Okay. Edith? In, so that's 13 plus a d4, which is... Definitely more than 8. 15. Okay. Okay. Um, so, Edith, you struggle. This this is really heavy. The rest of you manage. It's not easy for any of you. But you pull and the chains kind of come out of the things that they're encased in. And you watch as the giants start to like play them out so that the platform lowers. And Rumi, from where you are, you can clearly see as it lowers, it enters the, the yellow light. And the crystals around the edge start to like spark and, and, and crackle. And they like make a web of crystal force across it and it continues to lower and then you watch as out of the light comes a ruby a giant ruby rose i say giant it's the size of a head okay wow. made of ruby and it's an actual rose this is can i fly down and grab it you can i'm going to do that okay do you pull it out i do i pull it out cool as you do that there is a pulse of energy 
Um, I need all of you to make constitution saving throws. With your d4? With advantage, if you're wearing Zook's ring. Oh, right. Oh, no. Uh, 21. 23. 19. 23. 14. Oh, is it plus 10 with Zook's ring? It's advantage. Uh, yes, oh, sorry, yes. Ten. Plus 10, sorry, yes, you're right. Oh. Plus 10 with Zook's oh, ring. Oh, yeah. 33. My bad. 31. So, not advantage? No, just plus 10, apparently. No, I got plus that 10. wrong. I got that wrong. Okay. My bad. So, yeah, Rumi, what have you got? Sorry, I'm, re I'm redoing math because uh, 15, 18, 19. Sorry, I, I screwed that up. Whew. Uh, 20, dirty. Cards? Dirty 20, then. Dirty 20 with the plus 10. Yes, I rolled a 5 on the dice. Okay, Z? 33. 33. Mm -hmm. That saves. Sunri? 31. That saves. Alex? 29. That does not save. Yay! Edith? 19. Does not save. Mara? 23. Does not save. So I'm gonna roll this damage. This is force damage, so if you've taken your potion, you take half. This is the first pulse. 77 points of damage. Halved if you're resistant, halved again if you saved. So that's 38 if you're resistant. And halved again if you saved is 19. Those of you who are holding the platform, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Essentially, it's, it's, a, it's a concentration check, essentially. Constitution save. I get to use blast for this too, right? Oh, you're right. Concentration oh, for one. I, I don't think I can make it. You're going to have to go down. Bless is gone. Bless is gone. Yep. 19. 18. 22. 22. So two 22s, one 19, and one 18. Oh, I should roll for the giants. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> uh. Totally forgot about them. <laughs> Too many things. Oh, shit. Well, one got in that 20, so that's nice. Because they also have to take that damage. Yeah. yeah. They all took full damage, by the way, because they don't have Zeke's <laughs> ring. <laughs> Shit. Didn't think about Ooh. that. All right. Ah, oh, come on. Sorry, it's being problematic. Okay, and then we're going to do some concentration checks. I'm not kidding, there are two nat 20s on that. Okay, so some of you definitely felt falter. Um, and you watch as the platform kind of shakes. But between you, you manage to hold it up. Rumi, what are you doing? You have six seconds before the next pulse. Uh, how... Essentially, how, it's a turn. How bad does everybody look? Who needs healing? You have the gem. I'm just yeah. putting that out there. Do you want to, like, throw the gem to me? Throw the rose to me. You would have, you would have, you would have gone oh. down yeah. at least probably 30 feet to get yeah. to the gem. And the door is by Alex. So then I would have come back up 10 feet. So I have 40 because we have long strider. Okay. What are you doing? Um, Six seconds. What are you doing? How how bad does everybody look? Who needs healing? Uh, we need. It is not a smith first. Yeah, just go. Just Edith go. looks like shit, but just go. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, I will. Uh. 
Uh, I mean, I can't even. I can't even get to Alex. I mean, I'll fly forty feet, and then I'm going to cast mass healing. No, I'll. I'll bonus. I'll, I'll take my action to dash, and then I will healing word. Who looks the worst? Yeah. What's the range on healing word? Sixty feet. I can get. So you can't get everyone. No, the only one I can you get can is get Edith. I can you get can Edith. Get Edith. Yeah. I can only get Edith. Mm -hmm. okay. So then I'll bonus action healing word Edith. So you used your action to dash? Yes, and then to hand off the gem to Alex. Okay. Alex will cool. just... Wait, so the gem to seal everything, or the rose? The rose, I assume. Yeah, the rose. So that would have taken the full... Oh, oh. Alex! Ro just roll me an initiative roll. Modified 20. Okay. I'll, I'll let you go before the next pulse. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, hey. Edith, you can take 12. Alex, Alex, oh. what are you doing? As Ruby goes past, I'm just going to like grab the rose out of her hand, because I remember um, Garen saying they just grabbed it and threw it in, and just mm -hmm. went yoink in through the door. Okay. It's like, seal it, please. Ow. So, the pulses continue to happen for the next, like, 30, 40 seconds, but they happen inside the door, so you're fine. However, the tentacles start to writhe. Um, they are going to start to, like, smack at the people holding Vigil, trying to knock you over. Um, I need strength saves, please, from the people on the Vigil, on the plinths, to resist being knocked over by a 26. You're fine. 30, 20. You're fine. 18. Edith? No. What? 13. 13. So Zinkela and Edith, you get knocked off the plinths. I need you both to just make me a concentration check. I'm going to also roll some damage, because that makes sense. Seventeen. Using Twitch inspiration real quick, so please stand by. Yep. You also take 12 points of bludgeoning damage, BT dubs. Okay, that's a, a 21 for a con save. Okay, you're fine. And how what much was... damage did you say? 12. Okay. Okay. Um, the giants are unfazed by the tentacles. Like, they smack at them, but they just, they don't give a shit. Um, you just managed to hold on, even though you're, like, practically prone now on your plinth, holding on to the, the chains. Um, the second pulse goes off. They're going to do it again, so I need another strength save. How many pulses do we have? Let's give me five each. Five what? Strength saves. And I assume in this time, Rumi's going back with the gem to seal it and seals the gap. You have to wait until the pulse is over. Oh, well, are you going to try and do it before that, Rumi? Oh, I don't know. No. Rumi would know the order of Do events. I get a turn? Because I, I can get down there my next turn with a movement and a dash. Are you going to do that before the pulses are done? No, we, we, know, that we know the order in which this needs to happen. So. Yeah, no, I can't. Not at the HP I'm at. I'll die before okay. I get down there. Okay. So... First strength check from the people on the plinths. Zinkela. 19. Fail. Zinri. Um, strength. It's a saving throw, right? Or a check? Cor sorry, saving throw, yes. Correct. Uh, 24. 
Succeed. Edith. Eight. Fail. Mara. Twenty-seven. Z and Edith, I need another concentration check from each of you, please, and you each take another nine points of bludgeoning damage. Nineteen mm -hmm. for the concentration Se check. Seventeen for me. You're good. How much damage was it again? Nine. Oh. I didn't roll very well. Okay, that's three pulses you've experienced. So the pulses are getting less, but they're not affecting you anymore because they're inside Zook's little room. So, Alex, you can see them going poof, poof, off this gem. Right, but they're getting smaller each time. Um, but the tentacles are still like, bah, bah. Um, another one, strength check, please. Wait, wait, can I do stuff before this? Can yes, I go out? Sorry. And... Oh, yes, sorry. Oh, okay. Go. Oh. Okay, no, then I'll, I'll at least move because I can get there and then I can do a. <sighs> yeah, because from there I can do a mass cure wounds on everybody. Okay. Okay, 24 points of healing to six people. Um, so. Alex is inside the door, so he can't take it, but everyone else can take it. And... Alex is outside of the door, right? Oh, he's oh. outside of the door? Yeah, the door he didn't but... go in. Yep. Okay, then we all can take uh, the healing. Alex, do you want to do anything? Um, Between I'm just pulses, sort of like or are you just watching? Monitoring the situation and keeping an eye on everyone if anyone gets knocked unconscious. Okay. Killing was so it again? 22? 24. 25. Fourth pulse, more tentacles. I need strength saves from the four of you again, please. 20. Saves. 19. 25. Fails. 25 saves. <laughs> Edith, you were so close. 28. Cool, He's sorry. old, man. She's not that strong. Edith, Aww. you take nine points of bludgeoning. <laughs> wow, my brain just froze. Damage of a kind. Bludgeoning, and I need a concentration check, please. 22. That's good. That's good. All right. Okay, after this one, I'm going down to plug the hole. You're doing it now? Yes. Okay. After the next pulse, right? No, this after, one. After, after okay. the pulse. Please. So, Rumi, I need you yeah. to make a strength check because you are fighting okay. the flood of planar energy okay. right now. I'm assuming I have Twitch Inspiration. Yes, I do. We are going to use that. I appreciate how much Edith is getting her shit rocked right now, and yet she's not letting go. So that I like, I'm so proud of her. Yep. That's that's a ten. You cannot get that in there. It, you okay. just like that. It's like trying to push something into a flood that's coming out. You can't do it. Okay. Um. So you, you I need another healing word for Edith on Twitch. So I need another strength check, please. Build. When I do healing I word from Twitch, how do I do 20. that? 1d4 plus 4. It Sorry. goes down every time. Yeah, it gets less each time. Yeah. Or well, the, the pulses get less each time. Yeah. Oh, so Kayla, yeah. what did you get? I, I rolled... I have to roll a natural 20 to succeed, so I failed. On the strength... Strength save? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Zenry? 20. 22. You succeed. Edith. It's rolling. Mara? 26. Edith? No? <laughs> cool. No. Zenkayla and Edith, you take 8 points of bludgeoning damage. And I need a constitution save, please. 20. You're fine. 16. Edith drops her chain. Oh no. Oh, no. And the whole thing goes. I have switch information. Can I use that as yep, too late? You can use it. You can use it. I'll let, let you. 19? That saves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Rumi, do you want to try again? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do another strength um, check for me. Oh god, that's better. Um, 15. 
been. Oh, I've lost my thing. Sorry, hang on. Nah, sorry. It it doesn't doesn't go. Nope. This is the last one. This is the last one. Another set of string uh, string saves, please, from the four of you. You probably saved Rumi's life with that inspiration. I'm just going to put that out there. Because she's right there. <laughs> uh, I, I rolled a 17. So I know that's a fail. So no. my constitution saving throw is 721. <laughs> Good. Just get that out of the way. <laughs> yep. Senri? 22. Yep. Edith? 11, but my con save is 19. Okay. Mara? 24. Alright, so you're fine, and the pulses subside. Rumi? Yep. Plug. Okay. Yep. As you plug it, mm -hmm. you, you see like tendrils coming out and kind of melding into the light, um, and the giants all go, enough, pull! Rumi, you better move. Are you moving? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> as, yeah. As, as soon as she plugged it, she was going up. Yep. So they start pulling and putting the chains back in their spots. Um, the four of you, I assume, are doing the same thing. Yep. yep. You are aided yeah. by their string, so I'm not going to make you roll for it. Okay. Um, they put it down, and then you watch as all four of them sigh. And they look around and they go, You are not so tiny. Are you and then they right? all spin into a whirlwind and just dissipate. They're gone. Oh, wow. Guys. Let's get out of here and get her now. Yeah. Now. Grab the door. Right. Grab the door. Grab the door. Oh, close the door. Mm -hmm. I thought it was closed already. No? No. Oh, no. Never closed it. Oh. Um, oh, okay. Close it and let's go. Do we feel a certain presence around us? What do you mean? What are you looking for? Stumpy. Oberon? Yeah. <laughs> no. Not, not okay. here. Okay. Mara's going to. The ranger's bow that she'd been that she'd hold around, yep. she's just gonna throw it in to, um, to where the crystal yep. and everything was. It, it it literally just bursts into flame before, like as soon as it gets past those crystals. Yep. So I'm assuming we're saying the word, yeah. 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 Cool, guys. I've got to go, so um, <laughs> I'll catch all this okay. up. Okay. Like... <laughs> yeah. All right. Sorry. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bellatrix. Okay. Nothing happens. Oh, shit. Oh, you guys, we're in a forbidden. That's right. Okay. How do we get out of here? I mean, you came through a I door. Come stairs? Oh, wait, there is... Oh. oh, you didn't come through a door. No. You came through a door. You didn't come through a door. door. There are some stairs there. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna right. run up the stairs. Yeah. Okay. So, you go up the stairs, and you find yourself back, like, at the top of this tower that you've been, you've spent all your day fucking around on. He's still there, yeah. and he looks pissed, yes, and he's like, I should kill all of you now. It would we save me a lot word. of trouble. We can't say You're not future. worth the effort. Oh. We can't say the word. What are you doing? You better decide fast. You're not oh, worth no. our Does effort. Everyone... And then Mara's going to spin around to look away and just cup her hands over her mouth and whisper it. Whisper Bellatrix. And Edith okay. is flipping him off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You are back will join the flip -off. <laughs> in yeah, exactly. the throne room. And the lady looks up and she says, you were gone a long time. <laughs> but we're we back. We needed to do a lot. Are you oh, all right? Shit. Can we say that I remembered to cover my eyes or do you think enough time has passed? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Make a history check to oh. see what your memory is like. Rumi would have told her. I Rumi's been through finished. that. I no, thought three balls were finished. Did three balls not finish? I don't know how long it lasts. I think hour? it's one hour. Oh, no, you've spent more than an hour fucking around in here. Okay. You're fine. It's gone. Yep. All right. Woo. Were you successful? This is covering her eyes anyway. Milady, before you need to get Zook and Shadow in here, we, we have things with us, but they were doing well, I would assume they are there. Okay. I don't think they would. Yeah. yeah. We have deliberately would also be there. that he wanted you to have deliberately. I and see. things he might not have wished you to have. Yeah. I very so much doubt there was anything there he didn't wish me to have. 
Oh, you're on it. Am I was just going to look at look up at her. You what? Sorry, Mara. Say that again. Mara's going to look us look up at her and just say, "Gladwin Costas. He helped us. He's been dead hundreds of years. I have his bones, he helped my us. Lady. Yeah, his bones were really helpful. He's very polite. Make an he inside check. You. All of you, make an inside check. Eighteen thirty. Twenty-five. <laughs> I'm right, using Twitch inspiration. Okay. Yeah, but I'm gonna use that as well. Not much better. Eleven. <laughs> the lady is very good at hiding her feelings. She's very composed. But Zinkela and Rumi, you see something happen on her face that is frankly terrifying. None of you have ever really seen her really angry. But something happens there that makes you like almost involuntarily step back from her. Like you suddenly become excruciatingly aware just how dangerous she is. I see. I'll I'll I will put down my bag of holding. Um their bones are in my bag of holding. I will leave that here for you. Very well. Um, we handled. He, Mara takes out the um, the pouch and the amulet that were in her bag of holding and just places them down in front of her and says, these were his. He wanted you to know he still served you. I have no doubt. She was an excellent champion. She. <laughs> I'm sure Alex would set down uh, his <laughs> bag of holding as well um, yep. and tell you about the book that was in there that detailed the ritual and how it all came to be. He takes it and just hands it to Zook. This seems like your area of expertise. I imagine that if he left it there, it was not a coincidence and it can therefore not be trusted. But Perhaps yeah. it will give us something useful. There are names. Letter. Who's got the letter? Who's got uh, the letter? Zinkela has the letter. Uh, Zinkela, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. um, he also has a letter for you. <laughs> a letter. <laughs> mm hmm I see. Uh, Where if is he's it? anything like you... my ex, I wouldn't it's read it. It's in my it. bag. <laughs> do you want my bag or do you just want the letter? I didn't know, my lady, if it could be... Trace. Perhaps just the bag for now. I shall open it in a safe location. Just sits her bag down next to Appreciate it. Mm. Well, seems he is not done playing games. Um, a couple other things, my lady. Uh, he did decide to make a personal appearance. Did after he? And we... yet you all live. That is interesting. We fought some of his royal guard and we slayed killed. one. Right? Yeah, I killed. One. I killed. Myself. I mean, we you know, with help. But the, uh, you know which one? Ranger and sorcerer. Did you get what a name? Which ranger lady? I don't know. She oh. bled on a thing. The, the Tyr 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 one, of them, one of them was Tyr Tyrion. No, Tyrion. Trinian. Uh, Trinian. Trinian. Yes, I recall her. So and she's dead his... now. That's useful. Yeah, and then his barbarian ran away in fear of us. Hmm. Or maybe his task was done. No, well. he, he said he they were bested. That they were bested and he ran away. And called for and help. And called and Mr. Acorn. <laughs> and he arrived and yet you live. He was he not happy. He tried he to didn't think we us. could actually do it. He was relying I on don't his think so. I, I think that if he could have killed you, he would have. Hmm. Mm. I think he wants you to know. Perhaps. We're more protected than we thought. Oh, there are he, rules. He did see the door, my lady. Oh, that could be a problem. Yeah. He was also around when we said the word, whether 
he saw us say it or not is... I think at this point that ship has sailed, to be honest with you. It um, was... It's still a bit windy up on the top of the thing, and it's been hiding, <laughs> and yeah. We would have had to be listening very, very carefully to hear it. Oh. There was were... also a puzzle where we all had to give up something personal. That's not surprising. That is pretty classic fable shit. Yeah, that's... Just in case they can be <laughs> tricked back. Yeah. <laughs> we're very good at yeah. You do work for an archway. Well, you have done excellent work today. Incidentally, you all notice that she is glowing, like almost to the point where her skin is actually emanating light, even in her glamour. Um, she looks stronger, significantly stronger. Um, I am, as always, appreciative of your efforts. You have done good work here today. Zinkela, this concludes our contract, I believe. <gasps> Congratulations. I assume you will be returning to Melo Meloda. You have no other use of me. Not at the moment, but perhaps we could come to an arrangement. We'll talk. Oh. Well, I'm sure you have friends waiting to celebrate with you. I got a if picnic with the goblin. If there is nothing else, yes, I heard about that. Henry like bows and then <laughs> runs out. <laughs> to be honest, I was not expecting to survive that, so I guess I've got some soup to make. Yes, dear, I would appreciate that. You did promise. What's your favorite? All. I did, Gas of course, and it would Gaspacho. be very rude not to fall through. She told you before that it was gazpacho. And the summer person... soup. Forgot to write it down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, off you go. <laughs> and let's say something else. <laughs> Sorry, that was my Jack story. <laughs> I'm like, we're <laughs> uh, Rumi would wait till everyone's gone and then just inform Gara that the personal thing she gave up was blood, just in case that came back to uh, bite them. Good to know. I'm sure he would do his gruff girl thing and, and, and uh -huh. you know, etc. Yep. All right. So you all go out into the world. You have achieved the fourth seal. Good job. I only got to sort of kill one of you. I'm quite sad about that. <laughs> um, mostly thanks to Chrissy because that acid trap would have been super deadly if you didn't have a solution for it. Um, <laughs> so if you're still watching us at this point, thank you so much for sticking with us. I know it was a really long one. Um, these puzzle ones are always tricky to pace. Um, so I very much appreciate that you have been here with us, hanging out and doing the thing. Um, oh, we have a level 15 art drop happening. So that'll be happening in our Discord right after the stream. We'll be showing you Rumi's level 15 art, which I've had to hide away in a secret folder because <laughs> Chelsea has access to all our art stuff. <laughs> um, you guys did great. Excellent work. Uh, everybody watching, next week we have the Race to Glory, which is... Just your average Gallon Horde game with no stress at all, I'm sure. Um, yeah. We will see you there. Have a beautiful time zone. Farewell. Yeah.